Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop streamed, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today we are playing through Marvel Champions. What's up, Terrence? How's it going? Made it to Friday. It's always a good time. Yes, yes. Well, you know, Friday, I don't know. If it wasn't for you, Terrence, I don't know if Marvel Champions would be my favorite game, to be honest. Because really? Because when we started I, I thought you played on your own. Don't you play with your kid now? I do, but it's like, Nick. would all of that have happened had it not been for our streaming every Friday night, Marvel Champions? Like, I mean, I, you could have stopped at any point. Uh, I guess I could have, but I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. It's. Uh, Are you it's, saying it's the people or the game? Uh, well, at this point, it's the game because I definitely don't still enjoy playing with you. But uh, <laughs> wait, I mean, did you say you don't enjoy playing with me? Yeah, like we had our fun. Our time's over. Oh my gosh! All right, so I apologize for those of us who joined us right at the beginning. You've noticed that I had Terrence Giant at the bottom of the screen. I didn't have this all set up correctly, and I just realized because of the new rule, I believe I have to have a forty card deck in addition to Death Glow. So uh, I, I don't have that either. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You're, you're doing all kind of win tonight. Oh, this is not. Oh, man, I can even do correct. these. I can just even use these. Settle use down, this cool Terrence. Thematic one. Settle down. No, they have Terrence. the thematic. They have the thematic like base uh, energy. The, yes. The like alt art cards. Correct. Do you want to do I'm that? I'm just gonna pull mine for. Well, no, you grab your card first. Right. Yeah, go for it. See, we're uh, we're off the rails already. I didn't know they had these. Do See? I just them? There's a grab. Now you know I would just copy no copy and paste, because when I recall it, it's gonna pull it right out of your deck. So control C, control V. All right. Look at this. You're getting a lesson on how to copy and paste here as well today. Look at us. We're all over the place. Well, welcome everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We are actually gonna play a game tonight. See, I feel like we're in old school form because we're playing old school heroes. Or uh heroes that people don't is, like. Is Valkyrie that old school? I mean, people don't like her. I, do you ever see Valkyrie anywhere? <laughs> like, yeah, I saw her a bunch of actually kind of heroes, like we were saying. People, it it was not one of the heroes I thought I'd see people pre-con decks for, but it happened. Yeah, no, I, I definitely would not have predicted that. Uh, I mean, she's good. She's fun for like I have. I have a feeling I'm gonna have fun on this scenario. Um, so we are playing Sinister Six. We are playing Sinister Six with the beastie boys so by the way i'm very disappointed with myself now i'm well aware that the beastie boys are not heavy metal but we did a heavy metal podcast or uh stream last week and i didn't throw the beastie boys in like it's just a you know i put sinister six in which was whatever like i don't know why i did that uh yeah uh, you were well, smarter than me terrence i just i just figured a module called the beastie boys how can you not right Yes. If you're just going to pick a random one. Uh, also, I just feel like the hood has a lot of really good modulars, and we often don't go back to those modulars. And so I just wanted to pick one from kind of that set. Um, so I think they're some of the more interesting modulars in the game. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I know Sinner 6 is one of your favorite, but I think one of the original intents was we wanted to try a Valkyrie deck that focus more on the villains yeah i'm gonna have to kind of be smarter about which villain i put my death glow on <laughs> uh yeah and I, and I thought like sinister six makes at least it'll be an interesting you know tactical thing for you to kind of pick because it's not just the one villain and so you, you do get the ability to kind of change and rotate your death bow because they'll be coming in and out so I yeah that would be fun to see so i got a lot of things like mean swing chase them down although i think i only have two chase them downs in my deck and they're both in my starting hand which could be good or bad i mean if you set me up i might be able to kill one of these bad boys and then take all the threat off the main scheme but i don't feel like that's probably a card i should probably keep in my uh in my opening hand so and do i keep aragorn in my opening hand well i took out all my aerial stuff because it wasn't consistent enough uh so what do we think i'm just gonna discard everything except for i mean you're definitely not keeping mean swing right because you don't even have a weapon in hand yeah so have it these so expensive yeah I for think. early game uh until early. i get built up at all so yeah i'm just gonna keep chooser of the slain and then ooh, annabelle riggs that's that doesn't make me sad 
That does definitely not make me sad. Turn one. Are you going first then? Um, it doesn't matter. It's pretty you good. I mean, Throg, Throg plus Choose of the Slain seems like a pretty good combo too. Yeah, Choose of the Slain and then pull out Throg. Yep. Yep. I mean, if I... Yeah, I should have enough... Uh, resources and I got skilled strike two to help me kill whatever I pull out. Or, or do you do you need my two damage to open to kill something? Uh, I don't because whatever it... I pull out. Let let's see what's in the deck. Uh, so let me go first. We'll do it that way. By the way, Victor says standard or expert. Oh, Victor, do you not know us? Of course, it's expert. He's a pre con. Are you like sad that we play this much expert? Like I can't tell if you're action expert player or you begrudgingly play expert because I play expert. Um, at this point, like, honestly, with more than two players, I prefer standard. Uh, you wouldn't have been able to tell that by Kana Heroes, but, um, or not, not Kana Heroes, Kana Heroes, I played only standard, but, uh, by, uh, whatchamacallit, um, what was it? Gen Con, where we played, like, you know, other than Fair Con. Yeah, the one that's not as good as Kana Heroes. That's right. That, that, the other con. Yeah. Uh, action detached death glow. Yeah, that doesn't matter. All right. Um, so let's do chooser of the slain to get this thing started. I did put out. Uh, you got to flip over. Uh, so you should Annabelle first. Well, yes. So I'm going to Annabelle while I'm on this side. So let me draw my chooser of the slain back. So let's see what five cards. So Annabelle, if you don't know her, alter ego action, exhaust Annabelle rig, search the top five cards of your deck for a Valkyrie card, add it to your hand, and then shuffle your deck back up. Uh, I got another chooser of the slain. We could really. I... I mean, like, it might not be that terrible, honestly, if you want the card draw, because I can flip and then punch something, too. I mean, I... All right, I'm going to take it, because worst-case scenario, I'll just use it as a resource, right? Yeah. Uh, the only other option was Shield Maiden, which is great, but not great, really, because uh, that's one less resource I would have had in my hand. All right, so I'm going to flip over uh, so I can play it so let's go ahead and do our first chooser of the slain and let's look through this deck and see what we have here by the way we got a lot of uh old friends in the chat we got nine down we got victor von doom i thought there was somebody else up there uh earlier as well but lots of chat going on already so welcome guys thank you um yeah they're talking a lot about how valkyrie was something they played a lot early on um how i played it quite a bit i guess when i was uh running the gauntlet i didn't even realize i had done a lot of gauntlet plays with her but it has certainly been a while so we got griffin with seven health we got mandrill with six health that's all i'm really looking at right now honestly <laughs> is it like is it something i could kill which seems like a no i mean how, how much health the other ones are well that's what i'm looking for are those the only two those can't be the no, only don't two you? beastie boys by the way, this doesn't look very shuffled either. Oh, did we shuffle it? I don't well, know. Well, you got to shuffle it now anyway, so. Are those the only two? Did we forget to put the modular in? What's going on here? No, that's a that Beastie, Beastie Boy. Beastie Boy is this the modular. There's only four cards, and only two of them are, yeah, so that's it. Those are our choices. Griffin and Mandrill. Retaliate X, where X is equal to the number of confused characters, friendly uh, or enemy in play. One revealed, confuse each character you control. That doesn't seem wonder, but it's not revealed, right? But the quick uh, strike would go off, correct? Yes, yeah, so because when it engages you, yes. Yes, so I'm going to do Mandrill, who has less life and won't confuse me. He does can. Oh, yeah. One revealed. Not yeah, so guess what I'm not going to do is my second chooser of this lane to get the. Well, you could because you have Throg. I see, uh, to tank it, that that uh, attack, but then I'd have to. I mean, potentially if you if you wanted to pull it, then I'd have to exhaust the rog, right? Which doesn't seem wonderful. Oh, I mean that's. I mean he's gonna get tough anyways when he has it, so he'll just eat it with tough, I guess, and be exhausted. Right, but I mean, then I can't use him to do any damage. I mean, you can't anyways if he comes into play with tough because he has consequential. Well, yeah, true. All right, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill Mandrill by myself so i don't know that there's a reason to put two? death glow on it yeah oh uh, because you only hit for four no i could skilled. do four with skilled strike yeah so maybe i did need your two damage but the problem is i couldn't have pulled them out so yeah it was a six and one half dozen the other um visit foster what was that you have jane foster as well yeah oh, i don't know expensive. if i 
Yeah, I mean, and it's to the villain. And I couldn't do her and Throg. That's for sure. So I think I'm going to do one, two, to put out Throg. My tough buddy over here. That's fine. Yeah. You you kill Mandrill. Not a problem. Uh, My flip can kill Mandrill. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. All right. I'm going to hit Mandrill with a skilled strike. So that's two, my two damage plus those two. We'll put four on Mandrill. Oops. Oh, it's that kind of night, Terrence. It's that kind of night. I, I've totally ignored the chat. Uh, I, I've, I've, yeah, I've had issues. Uh, I'm going to hold on to Flight of Valkyria, I guess, and use Visit Valhalla to put Death Glow on someone. Who do you think we want to take out first? Uh... Craven for me, probably. Okay. I mean, just because the discard is bad. Yep. The discard is support upgrade. All right. So Craven is uh, Death Glowed. And uh, yeah, that's my turn one. Go ahead. And I will try to figure out what's going on with the chat. Okay. While you uh, are doing your yeah. turn. I think I will flip to open and kill your minion. Yeah, so uh, Nine Down says, can't wait to see what Terrence does with She-Hulk. And Victor said, he's going to knock Mandrill into next week. <laughs> and and that you did, Terrence. That you yep. did. Uh, do you even lift? I feel like he does not. Let's get some more lifting in. Uh, I think I'm going to do Focus Rage. Yeah, so uh, uh, they're saying uh, uh, leadership She-Hulk. Nice. So do you want to give a little bit of a premise of what your deck is? Uh, yeah. So um, I built... I want to... So there was like new leadership cards around uh, Clarity of Purpose. So I really wish uh, She-Hulk had more than one Gamma Slam, to be honest. I think it's yes. kind of a bummer. There's only one. Um, but it's all about like taking some damage. So I have downtime... Uh, so I plan on flipping an okay amount uh, or decent amount. Uh, and then Mighty Avengers is a crucial part of the build um, to then basically use Hellcat and, you know, White Tiger and all those kind of allies to kind of make up for the thwarting. Got and it. then, uh, you know, Limitless Stamina and all these things just will ready She-Hulk to be able to punch a lot. Um, I think there's a probably a build of this where I didn't have to focus on thwarting as much. Um, so maybe if like, I was playing with another Justice player, I would probably build it to do like R&D facility and things like that. Uh, Moxie uh, to basically stat boost up pretty high and then be able to kind of punch a lot, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, uh, trying to do somewhere in the middle. Uh, I play tested this against Sinister Six uh, earlier lost a game and won a game so it did okay um when peter reneged my idea of bringing nova so yeah no no so I, was right, right I, I said it was too late terrence too late uh nine down said oh my gosh she hulk with freaking clarity of purpose so yeah. uh yeah so basically uh using her massive hit pull like I, I think she has one of the highest hit pulls behind hulk right at 15 like i think 14 is considered the like high hit yeah. point pull point and so just literally using that as a real resource and not just like tanking and basically treating that as a way to generate both cards and um resources with clarity of purpose so nice uh we'll see how that goes all right and mine's just punchy i literally just have a yeah. lot of the free events uh i mean almost all my events are free so that way I can kind of decide what to do with my resources, what I was thinking. I use the card either for plus two attacking or if I don't need it, I'll move the death glow around. So it was kind of a get a bunch of stuff on the board and then move stuff around. But I also have uh, the card that brings all the Asgardians in. I can play them for my discard. So I was thinking I would be doing that quite a bit too. That was part How of How do you play process. stuff from your discard? Um, what is well, that? Bifrost is only, Bifrost is only uh, your deck. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I can play it from whatever, the deck. You need Visit Valhalla, which you had your hand to bring cards back, I think. Yes. Well, but that won't. That only brings Valkyrie cards. 
So yeah, I went for Valkyrie Heart. So I, without leadership, I don't think there's a way to recur Guardian Al- as Guardian allies. But well, it's fine. Even if it's not recurring, it's still bringing new ones out all the time. So I don't have a ton of allies in my deck, but they are all as Guardian, so I can pull them out pretty easily. And the one that's not as Guardian, I got right here to, um, you know, just to to do our alter ego action. Honestly, all right. So we are done with that. We are going to add two threats to the main scheme, and then we are going to have a yeah, electro- ready, ready up drop. Come on. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Hey, yeah, yeah. I got Dragon Fang. That makes me happy. Uh, with a mean swing, which also is good. And another Thor. And Godlike Stamina, which is another part of my plan. I got three Godlike Staminas just to try to stay up if I need to. Um, all right. So, but Electro is going to attack and Throg is going to defend. So, we're not going to spend a whole t- lot of time on this because that attack does nothing. Uh. That does feel super bad, actually. Why? Oh, just the... Oh, uh, is there a way that you can use Throg on Craven? Oh, and just, just so take... I don't have to discard one... Just so I don't have to discard one of my, like, three, <laughs> three right, costs. Upgrades. that's fine. I'll take the attack from yeah. Electro. I wouldn't have defended, of course. Um, and then discard seven cards. All right, so what is that? Three damage? Uh, one, two, three... Sorry about that. That's all right. I mean, we're cheating already. So discard seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, gee, now I wish I had not discarded that other card. That would have let me pull my Valkyrie cards because now I'm going to have to go through my deck all the time to get some of those cards back. But because uh, I think my my spear, I don't care much about. Um, I so, thought the whole point was to care about stuff like spear. I mean, it is to care about stuff like Spear, but like I'm pretending I don't, Terrence. I mean, honestly, here's the problem. I mean, I mean, I feel I like with Dragon defend. Fang, you have to feel good, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Getting getting the sword is is the more important part. The spear is really just a power mean swings, honestly, because I can't defend. Is the thing I realized yesterday. You have to go protection if you're really going to do this anti-hero deck. You got to do protection so you can ready yourself. Because I have no way of readying myself, and so I can't really swing. So this deck isn't yeah. really taking full advantage of that. That was the one, um, the one thing I realized when I built it. I was like, oh, if I really want to go anti, and maybe we'll do that some week coming up. If I want to go anti-villain, I've got to be protection. So that way I can swing. Cause uh, right- yeah, unless you're doing like Earth Minus Heroes or something that readies you. All right, so this is the boost that Throg is taking. So that's nothing. This moves on. Yeah, Throg took a, a two hit to the face. Um, but so yeah the spear is not great honestly because i don't defend much the only thing and this is what we were talking about the only thing i really care about it for is i got two defensive events that let me defend um without tapping so it's good for that all right so i'm gonna grab my card attach the villain with the uh lowest Lowest activation activation. so that'll be here so we can't thwart do you care about that actually yeah so unfortunately my death grows glows in the wrong place but I guess Craven's partially hurt, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, my card. Oh, your oh. obligation. There you go. Uh, it's hers is so bad though. The acceleration, like the trade, is an acceleration token. Yeah. It just you have to like. I feel like you have to do something pretty pretty amazing to like. Yes. <laughs> not that right. Like. Yes. 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 All right. Uh, I guess I'm first player. Nine Down says, Peter's got the card that brings all the Asgardians to the yard. And he's like, they're better than yours. My Asgardians are better than yours. Oh, there's your Hellcat. There is my Hellcat. Um, Do I play it? I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm going to flip. You also have Limitless Stamina, which is not terrible. Yeah. Having not a lot of see. Uh, so Who do you want me to do two damage to? Um, are we do you want me get... to do Craven and then you just kill him? Because with Fang, you kill him, right? Yeah. Fang puts him at four, so that seems to make sense, right? Yep. And then let me see what I draw, and then we decide from there. Sounds oh, good to me. Meditation would be nice on the other side, except I'm already exhausted, so that's okay. So wait, how did you draw a card? Uh, Focus Rage. Oh, but it's a, a hero action. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do an alter ego. Uh, 
I could do Kalu, draw an event, and then play Limpness Stamina, hit someone, and then hold Hellcat. Sure. I feel like the problem right now is like Hellcat's good for thwarting, but like the we have the main crisis, issue is like, punching. Oh. Yeah. And I and I as much as it it's nice to like burn down light at the end, I just feel like that's a hundred percent not the priority. No, no, because we're gonna burn it down just by killing stuff. Uh, so let's get Clue, and then I get to search top five at least, and we can get some of that. Yeah, because, I mean, that might be something that's useful. No, it's probably something to spend. I think it might burn Gamma Slam, actually, this early on. Yeah, you're not, I mean, you're not hurt enough. Um, I can shuffle. To do Limitless Stamina? Yeah, and then I can just at least punch for three, right? And hold Hellcat? Yep. Yeah. You gonna start working on Electro? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I might be able to kill him. In fact, I think I will be able to kill him. Oh, uh, can you ready? Yeah, with uh, oh, after, you... after I kill this dude, Craven. Oh, I'm nice. Ready. nice. I'm ready automatically. Um, I do have Kalu, so I should use Kalu for something. He's a two-two actually now. With um, Mighty so I'm gonna attack for. Actually, you didn't need to hit him for three. I'm gonna attack for. Um, two plus two for my thing, my sword. So it's four plus my mean swing is seven. So oh, so yeah. should I not hit him? Maybe you hit him with Kalu. For two to draw for six. one. He only has one attack. No, he's a two two with my Avengers. Oh. Uh, so, wait. So, but you have mean swing, right? So mean swing is three plus four. That's seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I could just hit this guy for two with, with Kalu. Kalu, that's what I was saying. To drop yeah. six. Yep. And then I'll just punch Val uh, Vulture for three, then, right? Drop yep. him down to four. Yep. Sounds perfect. And that gets you into a chain where you can knock him out next turn without any events, too. I mean, I could knock all three of them out this turn if you wanted. <laughs> uh, I feel like not knowing the villain could be bad, but I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I, I mean, if you want to keep Vulture up, then I can just thwart or something for one. Um, yeah, no, I that's mean, fine. These you, are the situations Valkyrie was like made for, right? <laughs> like right here. Um, yeah, I do hope they come up with more multi-villain scenarios because I think they keep getting better each time they go to the drawing board on it. Yes. All right. Like, so I'm gonna attack. Like I said, I'm gonna attack here for four. Kill Craven, which takes four off of this. Gives me my death glow back. Then maybe I get rid of Godlike Stamina. I have three of them. Yeah. Godlike Stamina to put Dragon Fang over here. I'll just write a flight of the Valkyrie. I mean, that's five threat You're... removal. Are you, you gonna all... pay the two for it? What? Not this turn, but You're gonna... I don't know. So you, uh, yeah, I guess it's better to clear my hand. I don't know. It's just that's the only thing I can really do to help with threat removal besides killing these guys. Um, all right. So I paid for it with Flight of the Valkyrie or Valkyrie. Uh, to put that on here. Uh, oh, by the way, when I killed him, I readied. Where did I put my sword? Oh, I put my sword up here. <laughs> yeah. I got my death blade uh, out uh, here. You donated your weapon to I, the I, villain? I did. Uh, yeah, sorry. yeah. No. Old it's, strategy there. It is a bold strategy, unfortunately. All right, so, by the way, because I'm skipping ahead a little bit. All right, so I did four damage because I attacked for two. My sword gives me plus two to my attack. So that would be four, as long as it's the person with Death Glow, which it clearly was. Death Glow, when the attached enemy is defeated, set this card aside out of play. If Valkyrie defeated that enemy, ready her. So that's why I'm ready again, and now I'm going to punch one more time. So I'm going to punch... I'm going to do Mean Swing, which is when your hero makes a basic attack, exhaust a weapon to upgrade uh, a weapon upgrade on your hero. Your hero gets plus three for this attack. And so that's why she's so good, because like this doesn't need to exhaust on its own. So now I attack for that three, plus those two, plus these two, is a total of seven. Boom, boom, boom. See ya, Electro. And Another I get four off my Death Glow back, and I ready four more off the light at the end of the tunnel. And like I said, I could kill Vulture here. Uh, if I Do you put, want to? If I put Death Glow see, out? So when, when you don't need Death Glow. Well, 
Yes, I do. I guess you do. Because I only do three. Oh, no, I don't need Death Glow if I use Annabelle. Do you want to kill him? Let's see. So you when you kill him, you remove seven. Yes. So it would be removing five because we would get two more, right? Why would we get two more? Because of Ambush. And extra no place to threat at the light at the end. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So it's only really one more threat removal. So let's see. What's his thing? After Vulture attacks and damages you, choose to discard a card at random from your hand. I mean, I don't love that, um, but I'll probably... I, I, just, I, just hate, I just hate Craven more. Like, if Craven was the random and you start <laughs> losing, like... You lo like, if you lost Dragon Fang, how sad would you be? Oh, no. I guess, right? Yeah, no, no, no. That, no, i chump it, by the way. Oh, yeah, I do have Clue, so maybe it doesn't matter. I yeah, because, I mean, too. if you chump, these things don't trigger because it's only if yeah, they do yeah. damage to you, right? Yeah. So what do you think? Hit him with Annabelle? I should just, yeah, I should just kill him. It's fine. And then I will punch him with Valkyrie. I only get plus one because he doesn't have the death glow attached, which won't ready me, but that's fine. Um, you're do dead. You need to ready? Down to 15. I mean, so that's turn two. We've half killed yeah, this. You should, you should still heal yourself too while you're at it, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to. So God likes stamina, heal two damage. Um, I really love this card. And get rid of a it status. Just, it just feels so nice. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, yeah. It's it's a free to heal and get rid of a status. That's super good. By the way, in case you were wondering. All right. So that that is what valkyrie does well in case you're wondering in case you haven't seen valkyrie before unfortunately we don't have her um valhalla card which is super duper good uh hopefully you get it in this draw uh yes there it is so after valkyrie attacks and defeats an enemy with the death glow attached exhaust it so it's only once per turn unfortunately draw a card and heal a damage uh by the way i have two have at these and i got two double resources and a valhalla although i feel like to have at these are just going to death glow me up. <laughs> what do you think about this plus clarity of purpose? Valhalla. So, so what's clarity of purpose do again? You take a damage to generate a resource. Exhaust to damage a resource to generate a wild. I mean, that's a leadership card. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Although, like I said, I mean, if you're not going all out damage, and I mean, I do like aggression, Valkyrie, and I do think I'd like protection. Again, if you're doing protection, though, I think you're going a anti, um, anti villain. It, you know, you just keep the death glow on him, and you just defend, because um, her spear gives her plus one to her defense and plus two another one if it's the actual villain you're defending against. So that would be three defense, um, when you get that spear out. So I do think that would lend toward a protection build better. Um, all right, so we're gonna add two here. But yes, I'm sure she'd work well in leadership. I mean, look, I'd love to see many more Valkyrie good builds. So we do have to ambush, it's Doc Ock. After Doc Ock attacks and damages you, place a threat on each scheme. So, um, all right, I'm so, gonna put the two on light at the end. Ah. So it's at 17. Yep. Wait, why, where does it All say right. that? Or uh, that? It's here. In right, expert mode, place two threat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be in the parentheses. Yep. So you're chumping Kalu? Jump. Ooh. Yeah. Good call. That's what he's there for. Yep. Yep. I'm glad I did it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. So that's five uh, damage that, that would have come through. Took moves onto Dockock. Wait, what happened? What did you just say? Uh, just the counter moves onto Dockock. Oh, you're you're making a joke because there's only one villain. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, so yes, the counter would move, but it doesn't move. Uh, do I chump Throg here, or do I just take this? What's his thing again? Add two threat. I mean, I don't necessarily want to do that, right? Um, although I'm gonna remove seven from this in two seconds, probably. What are your thoughts? Um, I mean, we're at what? Eight. Eight. So we're uh, at, at halfway. It's only right. one threat. Are you removing threat this turn or not? Oh, you're flipping so down this it, turn. It went half, so we're good. What was that? I'm hoping to flip down this turn. Yeah, you got. I'm you're hoping gonna to have turn. to flip down. 
All right, uh, I'm just going to chump this, I think, with Rob. Although, then I'm losing out on his two damage. Do I need the two damage? Are you doing any damage before you flip down? Probably, right? You can punch for three, so then I don't only need five. I mean, uh, probably not. I, I mean, the threat's fine. We, we can take it. What are you going to do when you're down? Just out of curiosity. Uh, play Mansion? Or no, no, okay. no. But, I mean, you don't need to heal, so... Why aren't you going to punch before you uh, I have meditation, so I was... Oh, meditation, you have to exhaust. Ah, never mind. Oh, yeah, I can punch before I go down. Oh, no, 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 you don't need to. I'm sorry. I didn't... Yeah, I have to exhaust for that. I didn't realize you yeah. had to exhaust for meditation. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. No, so you are definitely not then punching. Um, so, yeah, I'll take this hit. So, two plus three is five, which is not great. It's fine. Uh, oh, I took six damage instead of five i should be down two six um and then we draw our cards oh uh, i have to add the threat bink bink uh the villain with the highest activation order attacks you with pl plus x attack where it's equal to the total attack of all other villains in play uh do you need me to chump are I'm you, fine with that. You're fine with just taking it? No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's like plus X attack, right? Well, the problem is these are now getting... Well, this is what I'm really worried about. 10 on the main, and you don't really have any thwarting? X, X is equal to the... I mean, it's just a normal attack. How much was it? It's plus it's four, X. right? No, it's other. Oh, no, I it's thought just that was two yeah, plus it's two. Now it's four. All right, so I guess. No, it's plus the boost. Yeah, four. What was that? Yeah. Yep. You're at thirteen now. The big or issue is this part. All right. So now my card. Attach to the villain with the highest attack. If you cannot ambush, you cannot attack the villains who do not have this. Well, that is a shame that I can't attack all those other villains. All right, Terrence, you are first player or I am? I am. You are. All right, I can do have at the potentially. Um, well, I'm definitely putting Valhalla in, right? Because that doesn't make sense not to do that. Oops. I spend two to put Valhalla here. So the problem is if I have at the... So what does it say specifically? Attack? No, so my attack card counts as an attack, correct? Is that right? Yes. It, it does. still doesn't work, though, the more I think about it. Because I have to get Death Glow out, and I have to get Havathi out. Oh, it does work. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't work. No, I'm one resource short. So I can just have Havathi and kill him, right? I mean, is that where we're at? Probably, right? So how much did you hit for four? Well, I'm going to have at yeah. the for seven, and then I can throg for two. So that'll at least let me... St oh, because I can't get the death glow out. Gosh darn it. Which means I don't get to draw my card. See, this is the problem. <laughs> this is her problem. Like, you've seen the good part of her, and now you're seeing her problem. She just... She needs to do a little bit more. Just a little bit. Or get death glow out for free or something. Um, yeah, because I'm one resource short. How of about... Hmm. Why don't you pay for Death Glow? And not do Valhalla? And when I play Mansion, you can draw a card. Oh! But then I'll ready and draw a card when it's not my turn. Which is not ideal, right? There are very few. I mean, I guess I could put Death Glow out again. Or you just don't care about that. You can't because it's an attachment or an upgrade. Yeah. You yeah. can't do that in your turn. All right, I'm still going to put Death Glow out. I mean, you could just you could just not care about it. Um, let's see, so if I do that, well, You're hold on. Not... Let me let me just draw a card and see what I get first. Why do you, why do you get to draw a card? Oh, this. 
Got it. Uh, action, focus, rage. Yep. Endurance, not helpful. I mean, it's helpful, okay. but not to me. <laughs> do I want... Do we want the mansion, actually? Or do you think it's more important to play Hellcat this turn? I mean, doesn't the mansion help you get to Hellcat, potentially? Well, I need I would four think mansion... resources, right? So that's only three. So I'd have to burn two... I would think Mansion's more important this turn, but that's my thought. I just don't really do want the threat. The threat here. Oh, I see what you're saying. So should I just so thwart this 10? turn then? Should I mean, should Throg and I just thwart for two? Feels not wonderful to do that, in case you were wondering. <laughs> but at the same time, you got to do what's best, right? That might be what's best. I mean, you could you could four for one and uh, and kill Doc Ock, right? Yes, I could. So Throg hits for two. I mean, I guess theoretically I could hit for and three. And then just have at the yeah, and call the day. Have at the deal seven damage. Oh, and then I could thwart again, actually. Right. So I have at the for seven damage, which kills him. Oh, he didn't have death glow. Never mind. Ah, yeah. But you don't. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And then we remove seven here, so down to twelve. Yeah. Th so that's that's the frustrating part with Valkyrie. Her her economy's just a little bit off. Just a little bit. It's not like the worst thing ever, but it's also not great. All right, Terrence, go for it. All right, so so you, so you think I do Mansion or Hellcat? I mean, I would do Mansion. You draw a double resource, you can play Hellcat, right? Okay. So you exhaust yourself. I mean, worst case scenario, Mansion gives you the resource you need to play Endurance also. Ooh. I mean, now you just play tower, right? That's who. What? Over Hellcat? You can't play Over Hellcat? Hellcat? You can't play Hellcat. Yes. No, I just mean like over Hulk. Yeah, I guess you just empty the hand, right? I mean, you got to empty your hand. It's too early for that. You'll get back through the deck. I mean, Hellcat's good, not great, right? She's fine. Three thwart for each three thwart twice, then you bring her back. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're going to thwart this turn. Well, it's fine. It's fine. We're not going to lose this. And if we do, it's not the biggest deal in the world either. Um, the second one's just a little shorter. All right. All right. So I draw five cards. Ah, there's the Bifrost. Search your deck for an Asgard ally. You're, you're correct, Terrence. Oh, I also smashed the problem, which is not the worst thing ever. Although, it would have been better if I had um, my other card. Combat training out? Yeah, combat training. And I'm probably going to shield Maiden here, too. Depending on how this works. Okay. All right. So, first things first, we add one threat to the main, because you stop one of that threat from coming on. Then, we're going to ambush, and... Oh... Scorpion. That's the Scorpion that's the you. villain I like to see. Thwarting. Scheming. Yes. Uh, stun a character you control. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to chump Throg. Three plus two is five. Yeah. I mean, Shield Maiden wouldn't help me there. And especially before I get my defensive spear out. Like, it's just not worth it. Um, all right. So I took Throg dead. <laughs> I took Throg dead. Uh, then he's going to thwart against you for zero. I mean, that there's a number that's good to see in that situation, and that number is zero. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, you couldn't have asked for better. Yeah, no, obviously. All right, go ahead and grab your card. Uh, taunting Presence. Yeah, so you got to attack this dude, right? Oh, no, threat can't be removed. Attack the one dude that's there. 
Uh, Surge. Surge. All right, that's no. double assault. Good job. Good. Terrence, you having issues here? Uh, I have like really terrible ping to the game right now. It's like a thousand or something. Uh, Nine Down says, "Hearing Death Glow makes me think of Soul Glow from Coming to America." That is hilarious, by the way. I haven't seen that movie in a while. Actually, I did when the new one came out. I watched the old one. Uh, yes, Soul Glow. Nine Down says, "Let's see if Terrence has a good Phoenix Wright impersonation." I guess because of your lawyerliness. So wait, why did you draw another one? Because nice. those built-in schemes shouldn't this be uh, your boost? Just... Uh, from that, oh. this Un it. under fire yeah. is two cards. All right, so first schemes for one. Okay, we can live with that. Uh, one threat. Yep, got it. Man, I feel like this is this has been the best best like <laughs> turn for Villain with the highest scheming. activation. Uh, I'm fine with that. Well, I mean, considering Scorpion's yeah. about to be dead, right? <laughs> like, well, I don't know. Actually, I mean, I might need a little help killing them. Because I don't really have, I can only do four, um, four damage. So as long as you can knock them down four, we'll be good. Uh, so you're a first player, Terrence. Let's do this. What What are you doing this turn? Punching for four and hoping to ready and draw a card. I could buy frost somebody in potentially. Am I allowed to search my deck yet? I guess not, because I don't have it down yet. Uh, so there's definitely yeah, no Thor. Yeah, do you Thor. know what? You can look in your Discord see what allies you have. Yeah, there's definitely no Thor or Throg. I don't know if I have any left, to be honest. Uh, are both my Thors out? Yeah, both my Thors. Okay. Throg. I don't... What other allies do I have? Or would I have? I don't think I have Heimdall in the deck. What other Asgardians would there be? I feel like I have one more, but I don't know who it is. Here, let me look at my deck list. <laughs> While you're taking uh, your turn. Do you want my mansion or can I take it? I would take it if you need it. Helicarrier. I mean, Helicarrier is good. I would take your Helicarrier. <laughs> Of course, you could take that. I mean, honestly, I don't really need your helicarrier because I don't have anything that useful. Angela is my only other one. Uh, I'm just trying to decide. I'm just trying to decide if I should heal first, but probably not. So I do have Angela in the deck, which would bring out that quick strike, son of a gun, which I don't know if that's what we want. Well, she, I guess she could just take that, right? What does taunting presence do? Huh? Threat cannot be moved from light to end of the tunnel unless you kill him. Correct. Yeah. Oh, did we add two? I don't think I added two. When I uh, had to do add him in. Uh, right, let's do this. Yeah, nine down. Thanks for keeping the uh, chat going. Uh, there's a lot of people out there watching, but uh, it's been quiet. So I, I actually have some time because Terrence is playing slow right now. He's slow playing us. So that's only one card, right, for White Tiger? Yeah. So you, you get to draw because it's only level it's one. It's not great. Ground Stomp? No, no. But Superhuman Strength is freaking great. <laughs> Although you don't really need it. It is great. Well, uh, I would put it down after you attack if you're going to attack. I mean, I also love Focus. Uh, Focus how sad would it be if I healed this? Yeah, how sad would it be if I healed this turn? I mean, do you want these things to stay out there? Like, that's up to you, man. Maybe I flip down if you do that. <laughs> I mean, if we can... I'm fine with you flipping down. Well, we have nothing to remove threat. It's a problem. Well, White Tiger's going to remove three. Right. Go ahead and heal, man. If that's what you think is the best decision, go ahead and do it. I mean, I don't have to kill stuff every turn. You just you want to kill stuff every turn. Two here. Um, let's see. 
Let's put in this. What's this one? Attach to a friend of the character, exhaust this card, deal one damage to the character to generate a resource. I mean, that doesn't feel bad. All right, I think I do this. I play Helicarrier and I hold Focus Ridge, and then you can yeah. take Helicarrier. Yep, that's fine. I mean, the only other option would be Superhuman Strength, but guess what? That stun doesn't mean Jack, because <laughs> they're going to just be dead, whoever you hit. All right, so you got Helicarrier for me. And then you the get problem Helicarrier. Is I don't really... I mean, and I then... could do Smash the Problem. I guess that's the other option. And just remove three threat. And then flip down. So Tiger's removing three. I mean, you might want to heal. Yeah. I, don't know, I mean, I could heal next turn, right? Especially since now thinking about it with Valhalla and uh, Deathglow. Like, if I get an attack card. The problem is most of my attacks... Well, I, I can make that choice next turn. Um, I can at least start healing. So let's do this. Let's do this to pay for... Well, you boss. at least have crew quarters. You go up to eight next turn. Oh! You know what I could do? I could bring the villain, uh, that other Beastie Boy in with Angela when I'm down. So Quick Strike doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? Yep. Um... That feels not terrible. How many cards are in the ten? There's a good chance they're only like thirteen cards. Wait, what? Yeah, is the that? other. Th yeah, if you do smash the problem, I was just checking the deck size. It's only thirteen cards, so Angelin does ten. So there's only three cards. If it's in the bottom three, you'll miss it. But uh, I'll carry your so you can play crew quarter, and then you smash the problem if you. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So you gonna give me Hell carrier for crew quarter? Thank you, sir. I'm gonna smash yep. the problem here. So I remove, uh, so smash the problem is exhaust your hero, remove threat from the scheme equal to your attack. My attack is three with Dragon Fang. So one, two, three off main. Then I am going to flip down. Uh, I am gonna use, which card can I look at the top? Oh, uh, Annabelle here to look at those five cards and take one of them into my hand. That is Okay. Oh, I don't have Angela still in there. Did I miss her in my deck? She's definitely in there. Uh, I guess she's in my discard. Uh, you might discard her. Yeah, I must have. Um, I don't remember discarding her. Let me see something. Search. A-N-G. Yep, there she is. She's in there. Oh, it was probably part of that seven yeah, It might cards. have been during the... Uh... All right. Yeah, from so, Electro. So Annabelle does not help me. Um because I can't draw any of those. By the way, I have a holster to hold my sword. You like that? <laughs> my swords and my spears. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm drawing all those cards anyway. So Bryfo uh, Bryfo it's, uh, it's a sword holster. Yeah, sword holster. Why not? What's wrong with that? Everybody's heard of a sword holster. Come on now, Terrence. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing people know about. I mean, maybe not us, but other people. They know about it. Uh, by the way, so we got um, nine down. So the chat started up here. Uh, oh, no. Victor says, lots of laughs watching on the PS5. Can't chat annoyingly. Have to get my phone to actually type something. Uh, the quips were enjoyable. Uh, Steve from Beat the Game. Welcome, Steve. Uh, what's up, fellas? Uh, how's the worst hero ever, Valkyrie? Why no piercing uh, on her spear? Yes, piercing would be nice on her spear. You would think, yeah, getting rid of tough would be nice. And some kind of action economy. We saw, like, the best turn earlier from her earlier, where she literally took out three of the Sinister Six. Then the next turn, like, I couldn't even do one because I needed one more resource. Well, I took out the one, but I couldn't use my glow because I didn't have one more resource, which was very frustrating. Uh, so, yeah, we've seen the best of Valkyrie, the worst of Valkyrie. Um... So we got nine down and Victor up here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Victor says, Steve, coming out swinging on Valkyrie. Yeah, we, we were trying to play unloved heroes here. That, that was kind of the point of today. We originally said Hulk and Valkyrie, 
But um, I think Terrence was a little terrified of, of doing that combo. So uh, we, we, we settled for Valkyrie and She-Hulk. I would have done it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just would have had no threat. I mean, I just movement. watch, you know, you just watch, you know. The... <laughs> yeah, the show the show was starting this week, right? So I figured it was, it was oh, that's uh, good. On, on theme. Yeah, no, I don't have Disney Plus right now, believe it or not. I got rid of my Disney Plus so I could... Um... Just just for a little bit, and then I'm gonna like get. Marvel? I'm going in full steam ahead. I mean, I'll just binge it when I get it back again. It's only a month till hockey season starts, and then I'm gonna go all in with like the ESPN package and all that. That was my thought process behind uh, getting rid of it for temporary. Although I hear the Baby Groot series is decent too, which makes me sad now because I didn't see those before I got rid of it. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, uh, let's go ahead and add our. What do you say? Something. Hello? They're only like five minutes. They're super short. Yeah, that's what I heard. So I'll be able to binge that Hello? too. Yeah, I think we're on delay or something. It's fine. Uh, all right. So we added two threats to the main. Then he is going to attack you. What are you doing about that? You are chumping? Chump. Probably chump. Don't want to be stunned. Do you want me to chump with Annabelle? I mean, that feels a little bad, but... No, I'm chomping with uh, White Tiger. Okay. I White Tiger. I know, but she's still... I mean, you get the plus one, plus one, and she still had, you know, one more attack before you had... Oh, no, she's only got two life. Never mind. Just kidding. All right, so that's no damage, yeah. and then Scorpion is going to thwart against me for two, which makes me not that sad. All right, go ahead and draw your card. Uh, Steve says it's for kids. Baby Groot is just cute. One reveal, discard and upgrade or support your control. That's Ooh. terrible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is what it is. I mean, it's only a one cost to replace. Plus, y you've got plenty of free resources here. Uh, and Quinn Carrier in your hand. And a double resource in your hand. And Focus Rage in your hand. So you should be fine for resources and cards. I do love She-Hulk for that. Like just getting a bazillion cards on her hero side feels real good. Uh, in expert mode, this card gains surge and cannot be countered. All right. Um, one revealed. Resolve the ambush ability on the main scheme. If no villain is put in this way, yeah, there's going to be a villain put in this way. That is for darn sure. All right. Uh, let's go to the next one. In expert mode, this card gains insight one and can't be canceled. So that's one. Uh, one revealed. Put the set aside Doc Ock and Scorpion in. Okay, Scorpion's already in and Doc Ock is here? No. Oops. Here. No. Here. Yay. Yep. Um, into play. Confuse a character you control of Scorpion's that seems already great. in play. What? I mean, yeah. Confuse Angela. I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> I mean, like, you've got like Sam. Just put it on yourself. What was that? Oh, that's true. I do have godlike stamina. Good call. You've godlike oh. stamina. Just... Oh, it's in my hand as well. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good call. Yes, for sure. Oh, I don't know what this is, but there's a lot of threat things at the bottom. Victory one. When defeated, we get to get a victory point, Terrence. It's the thing that prevents us from doing other side. Yeah. Yep. Give the villain an additional boost card for this active. Oh, that's uh, so it's got nine on it. Which is interesting. Oh, that's a Sinister yeah. Six one. That is not a specific... Um, yeah. So what do we do when we get yeah, rid of it? Yeah. So, I mean, nine's going to be tough for us, especially when this has got ten. Now, when we kill them, does it force uh, us from a villain. side scheme, by the way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can just kill dudes to get rid of it. I'm all right with that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you're first player now? Uh, you are I? first. I am first player. All right. Well, you are. I'm, I'm going to crew quarters. No, you are, Terrence. No, you are. Um, all right. I've got Asgard even on this side, so I'm definitely going to use Godlike Stamina to heal to and get rid of Confused. Uh, let's see. I got um, Annabelle. Let's me look at top five. Ooh. Three, four, five. So I could... 
Uh, Flight of the Valkyria, Chooser of the Slain, Shield Maiden, or Have At Thee. Those are, Have At Thee seems like the right call right now, especially with you having a million extra resources. I can just kill Scorpion straight up. What do you think? Sure. Uh, now, do I have to attack Scorpion? No. No threat can be removed. And then, yeah, we got to we gotta get rid of Scorpion this turn. Do you mind giving me something, at least? Uh, mean Swing is plus three. Yeah, take it. Skilled, I mean, well, hold on. I'm going to attack. If I got Death Glow on something, maybe I don't have Athe. Maybe I hold that. Uh, I don't want to choose her to the slain. Maybe Flay the Valkyrie. That's probably the right call, right? Let's get rid of some threat while we're at this. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can figure out how to make that happen. Um, I'd like to get my holster out and God Slayer, but I don't think uh, that's going to happen. GG Mansion, too? I'm trying to figure this out. Um, I mean, there's no way I can get everything out. There's no way I can do everything. Oh, I got combat training too. Jeez, this hand. So maybe I put Flayed of Valkyria back. Just take I, Mansion. Hold on, I'm gonna take out the. Uh, I'm gonna take out a card I don't want. I just got too many good cards. I'm gonna take Chooser of the Slain. Right, because there's only two minions and they're both not great to pull out. Uh, all right. So you said you want to give me Mansion too, or no? Do you, well, what do you need? Yeah, and you can have mansion. I mean, I was thinking the the other card, just like getting threat removal, would be nice. Um, but just because I don't have allies in hand, but um, you can have both. You can have mansion healthcare. I'm fine with it. Oh, do you want me to get the threat removal? I mean, I'm gonna have to make some sacrifices that's, here. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, I mean, I'm at the beginning of my deck is the only negative. I, I'm just saying, you, you can have, do, do what you need to do. You have both Mansion and Alicara. All right. I'm going to draw a card. Audacity. So that lets me pink a damage off of somebody. You know, I put this card in because I find so many times with this scenario specifically, I'm like one short of killing something. So I put that in just so I could plink one to be like, okay, now you're within killing range. Um, All right. Well, I think first things first and most obvious. I'm going to use these. I'm going to use this and this. And I'll figure out to put in combat training. So now if I put death glow on something. Um, well, now, now you're one short. So don't you hit for five if you have death? I hit five, so boom. So if plink you it. plank yep. scorpion... Plink with Audacity, and then I gotta spend something. Um, maybe my holster? Nah. Helicarrier. Take Helicarrier. Alright, Helicarrier to put Death Glow out. Over here. So now I swing for um, two, four, five, and kill Scorpion. So I get Death Glow back. This is all gone. And we take four off of this. Now I get to do Valhalla to heal myself one, ready myself one, and draw a card. Oh, I got more skilled strikes. All right, I could punch for about a bazillion now. So the question is, is it better to just get God Slayer out though? Instead of getting all that plus attack. Yeah, I'd play God Slayer and put Holster out. Put Holster out? Um, and that way I can get my spear too and just throw away all these skilled strikes and mean swings. Well, let's see. Well, it also just gets out of your deck. It thins your deck into the events you want. Yeah, that's true. All right. So holster's coming out. Yeah, and it's also uh discard upgrade tech. Like you don't care if you have to discard it. That's true. That's true. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to attack for two, four, five, six seven oh no because i don't have death glow on him so only six but then when you flip you'll kill him. oh you're not never mind so who do you want me to hit for six it's 
seven cards removed or a threat on each i, I feel like i feel like electro is more threatening right now right although less likely to do damage yeah just, no. hit electro i just kill electro it's fine all right so i do have to yeah. exhaust this to add plus two to my attack so two three four five six to electro And that's my turn. Uh, I'm assuming we don't want me to buy. Oh, I could have bifrosted while I was down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. While I was down, I could have bifrosted for Angela, right? Because I did start this turn down. So how does that work? Sure. Well, hold on. How does that work? You exhaust bifrost and pull after her Angela out. enters play. Search top card for a minion put it into play engage with you so do we want that though probably not it's probably still not worth it right yeah even though we would have ignored the, the you. quick strike wait I mean he does stun you when he hits you which one well I could have killed him potentially instead of hurting that what When that minion comes out, he does quick strike with a stun. So if you pull him out, it, no. But if I was face down, it just removes that from, from happening. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right, so yeah, so we should buy. Yeah, frost. so saying if you pull him out, I got it. Yes. So we'll say I did that when I was face down. Um, where are you, Angela? Did I already pull you out? There you are. All right. All right, so yeah, we'll say we did that. We'll say when I was down, I did that, which searches 10 cards, which... Wait, let's make sure he's not in the discard before we do this, right? Is the entire card. <laughs> well, what's he... All right, he's got to be in there. Yeah, there he is. All right, quick strike doesn't happen. After uh, when defeated, if there is a stun on a friendly character in play, shuffle Griffin into the encounter deck. Okay. So instead of hitting here, which so he'll be back up to eight, I'll kill Griffin instead between Angela and myself. How much do you do five of him? Yeah. Sure. I do two, three, four, oh, three, four. I do four, Angela does two. So that doesn't work, actually. God's Slayer is unique. He is unique. Oh, does it say unique? Ah, nice. Yep. Yes. So I can use God Slayer. All right. So that's two, three, four, five, six. Angel is two more dead. All right. That's not terrible. Yeah. So I can do it because I'm Asgard on my um, other side as well. Which seems good. Uh, I'm going to put out. Quinn care and just play downtime. Yep. Oh, good night, Steve. I didn't see that. And then Steve, pawn, uh, you said electro. Well, I mean, I thought you said electro. Either way, I don't care. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter. Five. Five. It's like a one. It makes him a one shot for you. So, yes, without yeah. anything. <laughs> yes. And then I think I'm staying up just because of the. Uh, you know threat did i i did draw a card yeah All right. cool i mean we both have 11 health at this point so steve says okay i'll finish this tomorrow good night uh gals don't forget to thumbs up uh chat so i guess he's asking the chat to thumbs up the video thank you steve for that um wait uh steve said oh shoot i forgot about it terrence leadership he's got all the money uh you had me wait what is all right all right i'm trying to catch up on the chat i apologize um i'll figure it out nine down saying something because he said you had me go check because i know i saw it i don't know what he saw maybe it was uh angela or something come out okay where are we at do 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 do, do. i'm done you're done you already draw you already drew up yeah okay I do have Shield Maiden and Godlike Stamina 
and Mean Swing and Thor. I mean, actually, Thor can just come in and punch and kill uh, <laughs> Electro also, by the way. Although, I guess I want to do it so I can get the benefits of that. Cool. All right. Um, so, we are in their turn. Oh, we still haven't managed the threat on the main scheme very well. <laughs> I think both of the advances are gone, though, right? Is that actually true? Yeah. Uh, so well, I don't do know. You threw the deck. You should build them there. Do I chump with Annabelle here? Do I shield Maiden here? Didn't you look through the deck? Through what deck? Uh, didn't you look through the deck because of Angela? You should know what is in there. Oh, yeah. Well, let's do that. Oh, and is it stay in the same order or do I have to shuffle it? You shuffle. So we have a gang up. We have a Shadows of the Past still. High fashion, master plan, and height morale. All right, I'm gonna shuffle those up, obviously. Um, all right. Huh, I didn't check average boost icons on there. So Shield Maiden gives me- Why is he at three health? Why is he at three health, Electro? Didn't you hit him for five? No, I hit him for three. Oh, so he's at five. Okay. okay. Um, so the question is, do I shield main? Unfortunately, that only gives me three defense, which could stop Electro here. I mean, it's not really costing me much, so I'll do it. So shield maiden, plus two defense. So I defend for three against this attack. Resolve the when revealed ability. Stun the character you control. Confuse the character you control. I'm going to do both of those to me because I got godlike stamina. So that's not going to matter. I'm not thwarting anytime soon. Uh, well, actually, I'll, con I'll confuse uh, Angela. Right? Are you with me, Terrence? Yeah, because it's only one status card. Yeah. Are you yep. with me, buddy? Hello? Uh, as much as I am, I guess. What's going on? You're Hello? like, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You seem very distracted right now. Sorry. Uh, all right. So he. Is... No, my, just my internet's really bad right now. I think. Oh. So it's just like super delayed. Gotcha. So that's uh... this one. Oh no no never mind. Wait, it moves to this thing, right? Yeah. Oh, you're correct. It, yes. Isn't it? Ock. Yes. So do you want me to block this for you? So we put one. Yeah. Uh, it's only if you want. I mean, I don't want to add one to each. That is for darn sure. So I added one to which? Okay, then, yeah. Block. Well, is this at five or is this... With, did this get to five with the add one to each? It, it was at five because you only removed four. From oh, triangle. okay. Well, then I actually don't mind it getting one to each, I guess, because I, I was thinking four, I could get rid of it, but now we need six, right? So I'm I'm fine adding one to each. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take the two. Um did we have to ambush at one point? I feel like we had to ambush and we didn't add two threat here. I feel like there was a random card I did that add said two. do the ambush ability. Oh yeah, sure. Add two more, it's fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that happened now that I think about it. Cause it happened right before we had to add a uh, doc Ock in somebody or whatever. I feel like there was a surge right before that or not a surge, yeah. but an ambush. Um, okay. So we haven't seen shadows of the past yet. And we do cards. Yeah. I'd like to point out, we haven't seen shadows of the past and there's yeah. 50, 50 shot here. Add four to each. I mean, uh, that's, that's fine. Well, we kill both of these and it's gone, right? I'm not that worried about it. Um, oh, it's just to one or is it to all? Each. Hey, we're almost back to the beginning. Each. <laughs> um, I need to tax you. Top okay. seven cards of your deck. That's fine. Do you want me to jump this? Cards. Or are you okay? Well, you'll just have to draw yeah. another card right now. Uh, yeah, that'd be the only problem. So you want me to That's up to it? you. 
I'll chop it with Angela. It's fine. Okay. Oh, yeah. That would have been... Wait, flip. Four damage, too. Yeah. All right. All right. We, we good? So you were first player, right? We are good. Yes, you don't need resources, right? Because you're just doing no, no, no. godlike, I assume. Um, but hold on, let's see something. So I'm going to attack for one, two, three, wait, two, four, five. So I don't need anything to kill him. And then if you could just plink him down one, I could. Oh, no, no, no. Because I can't. Uh, but I do have mean swing. So hold on. So for the second one. Oh, no, I didn't use. I wouldn't use God Slayer for him. So yeah, I mean, then I got yeah, uh, you got two, Slayer. three, four, because it's five with Dragon Combat. Five, six, seven, so you just eight, nine, him. ten. So, I can I can it. one shot both. Just fine. I don't need anything. Yep, I can one shot both, uh, and with my card draw, I okay. I even get um. I can even put Death Glow on the second one and ready again if I want to. So go for it, man. So let's do one, two, I would love for you to get thread off the main. Yeah. I, I don't need one, two punch cause I don't need to punch anything. Right. Correct. All right. So can you reveal Can you reveal the top three and tell them and then remove threat off of treacheries there's only one and it's shadows so do what um i'll i'm fine with that remove one remove one threat from each scheme is that what it says and then oh, from oh, a scheme no from a so yeah, shadows and then he'll port for another here, three right? is that correct yeah shadow stays there okay Yep. Interesting. Okay. I mean, you could put the At other. At this focus. point, I need a shuffle. <laughs> Nine down says, "Oh snap! I didn't see that Terrence had Mansion, Quinn, Helicarriers, and a Focus Rage and a Clarity Purpose out." Oh, geez. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you can get your second focus rage if you want. That's what I yeah. normally like to do. <laughs> I mean, there's not much else you need to do. So we'll do that. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I would. you need it right now. Are you thinking about flipping down, or what are your thoughts? No. I would like to flip down, but, like, I don't feel super great about this threat. Well, you could thwart for one right now, uh, and then you reduce the amount of threat that goes on by one, right? Yeah. I guess if oh, wait, it flips, is this we're shadows? not even that How did static. you draw that? Why did you draw this? For f for decking, I have to draw it, right? When did you deck? Just now? So you know that yeah. shadows, right? Yeah. What? Why did you have to deck? Oh, because you draw. Drew, you drew. You made yourself draw into deck. I mean, I would, deck, I would deck when I draw, anyways, right? Like it's. I'm gonna get it whether I did it now or at the start of my turn, right? That's true. At the end yeah. of my turn. Good call. So yep. does it actually matter? That's true. Um. I don't know. Do I? So do, do, do people have to five? drink because they know? Do we have to preemptively drink because we know you're um, getting shadows? No, you have to wait. You have to wait till the villain phase, right? Like right. even though you know, you have to wait. All right. Uh, uh, do Do you think I just sort for one and then flip down and we call it today? I think so. All right. I don't mind you flipping. Sure. I appreciate that little dinky thwart, which is a big deal. <laughs> like it seems like not a big deal, but it's a big deal. All right, so I got a god. It that? gets under fifty percent, you know. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I have to god like uh, stamina first to get rid of my stunned. Which, by the way, I could have just put on Angela, but didn't. Um, 
Well, I didn't know I was going to chump her. You want, just want to get the extra value of that godlike stamina so you feel like a god, right? Uh, nine down, la lost the last at preemptive drinking. Yes. Uh, fine, I'm going to get a, my mimosa ready. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, so I'm going to spend Thor to put Death Glow on this one. And what we decided is that's two, four, five with the combat training. Defeats him. I get Death Glow back. Removes one, two, three, four threat from Brute Force Barricade, which is really annoying me in case anybody was wondering. But because I defeated an enemy, I get to Valhalla, which would have healed me one, which I don't. But I do get to draw. Oh, that's a double resource. That's a little sad. That's okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, so maybe I don't put Death Glow back out, right? Because who cares about... I mean, unless you want me to thwart for one. I don't think it's... I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I don't think it's Just worth it either. It. Oh! Oh, I don't have a villain in front of... Or a, a jobber in front of me. I was going to say, I could uh, I could get Throg right now. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to mean swing. Alright, so I attack. So it's two, three, four. Oh, this only gets one then. So it's five, six. I'd be one short, so I do have to put out... Um, I do have to use my double resource, sadly. So energy to death glow. I need that literally that one more damage makes the difference. Um, all right, so that's two, four, five, six, seven with mean swing. That's plus three. That's eight, nine, ten. I gotta exhaust that. Ten damage. Wait, does Doc Ock only have eight? Why am I trying yeah. to get to ten? What is going on here, Terrence? What am I doing? All right, I was confused why you need that much, but I. <laughs> I trusted the math, and it was bad to trust. It was the math. it was terrible. All right, so I don't need that extra one. I still do nine now. So if I don't death glow him, it's one less damage. Now we get rid of brute force barricade, right? That's the important thing. There was ten threat here, which is the thing that threw me off in my brain. All right, so so I'm exhausted. My internet seems to be better now. Cool. So that's good. I went from a thousand ping on TTS to a hundred, so that. I feel like that's a big difference. Where are you? Where Where did you move to, Terrence? And why? I just I it's cause, I think it's just because it's new construction. So like, you kind of have to pick. Like I used to have Google Fiber, and now I have like Spectrum, and I just feel like cable is super spotty depending on what your neighbors are doing on the internet. Yeah. And so I I even have problems at work now. Like sometimes I just can't like it's just like really bad during work calls during the day. Yeah, I'm just that sucks. I don't know. I, I don't know how to fix it, you know? Uh, by the way, uh, I have two double resources. I have a Flight of the Valkyrie. Uh, I have Visit Valhalla, so if I want to pull something out, I can. I don't think my spear is there, though. And I have a Shield Maiden. Uh, I have Bifrost also, which obviously, with Bifrost and two double resources, could help me. I feel like one of the problems right now is that um, there aren't enough things to kill. I mean, we're both kind of killy heroes, so yeah, maybe. Well, I should... I just, when when am I ever playing one two punch, man? Like never. <laughs> I mean, like never. It's sword. a resource, free resource, Terrence. Free resource. Wow, you have two double resources too, and limitless stamina. Oh, that's fine. It's I mean, fine. I I, like, I I can draw into stuff with. I mean, I feel stuff. like you've thwarted for one more than you've <laughs> punched stuff in this game, which is a little bit strange. Yes. Uh, all right, so we are adding. Are you down? You're down, right? So we're adding yeah. one threat instead of two. And then... yeah, isn't there acceleration because we decked? When did we deck? Oh, we did deck. You are correct, sir. So we're gonna add a second one. Well, that's not as great. Uh, now we will ambush, which adds two threat to this. Which, by the way, we're now back up to twenty-five. Remember how happy we were that that was down to fifteen in like two seconds. Uh, Hobgoblin uh, after Hobgoblin attacks and damages you oh and because we had to ambush we did add two okay yeah uh, take two indirect damage Hobgoblin uh, but Do you even, I feel like you basically almost never need to flip down well at this point no yeah I mean the only benefit of flipping down is Annabelle but I may just chump yep. her in two seconds because actually I could replay her um, because I've got uh -huh. Visit Valhalla, yeah. Because I don't have anything else I really need to pull out of there. And I got extra resources this turn, so I feel like that's the move. Okay, uh, so 
he's going to thwart or scheme against you. It's two plus zero, and that gets rid of an advance. That feels real good when threat is an issue for us. Um, all right, then he's going to attack me. I think I will chump with Annabelle, just because why not? And that ended up working out pretty well. Uh, although Shield Maiden would have blocked it too, by the way. So I could have just done that, but it's more of a gamble. Four? So that puts it at 15. Wait, what's going on? Two plus two, four. Wait, when did you... What? Did you get an advance? Oh, no, no. You already did my... I already did yours, thing. dude. Yeah. What are you doing? All right. So now you draw uh, a card. Yeah. You draw a card. Shadows. Yep. Yay. We should have probably looked through your deck. I don't even know what it is. I know what it is. It's a uh, personal challenge and then Titania. So it's going to be five. What's this? Uh, Titania. I mean, personal you challenge. got that, right? I mean, She's it's... the one that like does damage based on number of hit points she has. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can punch her to death if you really want me to. Oh, here's some more. Did you want more things to threat? Thwart down. We, we need a way to pull villains out so we can remove threat. <laughs> I mean, I could pull. I mean, now I can pull Titania. She seems like the best one to pull. The Beastie Boys aren't great to pull. Yeah, well, you, need, you need to get your shadows in so you have more minions to kill. <laughs> Actually, no. Enchantress sucks. You don't want her. No. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Enchantress, one revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for us. Uh, seduced. Oh, yeah. yeah no, no, I hate that. This is awful, man. It is It is terrible. All right. So we'll flip mine. Surge, exhaust your identity. Well, that's... You know what else is terrible for Valkyrie? That. So you want to know what I'm doing this turn? Nothing. Uh, attached to the villain with the lowest activation order. Well, guess what? You get to one-two punch, and you get to do all the punching this turn, Terrence. Because I literally uh, do nothing when I'm exhausted. When I say nothing, I literally mean nothing. All right. Well, you're first player, so... Hey, I get to first player and do nothing. Um, all right. So the question is, do I get Annabelle? Because I may as well flip down, right? Should I flip down? Yeah. Sure. Because then I can use Annabelle if I flip down. I mean, if the, if, the, if the scheme advances, we get another villain to punch. So got that going for us. I mean, I, I, it's not like I need to flip down, but the only benefit of flipping down is literally Annabelle's draw me another card and hopefully it's something better than what I have. <laughs> to spend resources on this turn. All right, so I'm spending that. I'm flipping down. She's going to exhaust and look at the top five cards. All stuff I can't use, right? I mean, do you just hold, choose the slant scene, pull it out, pull it, use it next turn? I mean, either that or do I have Athy to, like, just kill some stuff next turn? I mean, kill some stuff. There just aren't that many things to kill. All right. Choose her to slain it problem, is. Right? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I don't know. It gets you two cards. I have no idea how useful it is for you. I mean, I don't either. I mean, it'll get me to more killing stuff. <laughs> I mean, the good news here is I do get to put out um, Flay the Valkyrie. So you putting that on, I assume, Titania? No, no, you just put it out. After enemy with death glow is defeated. Oh, you have to put death glow on something, though. Well, yeah. That would be next turn. So do I get rid of shield maiden? I think so, right? Yeah. Wait, but if you do it... If you... If you put it on something... This turn? Now, okay. we can pop. Wait, does that work? Okay, so I could have put it on with Shield Maiden before I flipped down. Well, you can put it on any when, any time, right? It doesn't say you have to be. It doesn't say hero anywhere. You can always put death. Uh, on, right? Is that right? No, because I think that's my ability. Oh, it has to be aside. Play the play. set aside. Yeah, yeah. So and this so is you would, action. You wouldn't have known to do it actually, because you wouldn't have. Would you have known to do it? Well, I knew I had Flay the Valkyrie. Oh, it was cho chooser, chooser that I told you to pull. Yeah, chooser is slain, right? And a double resource. 
Um, I could bring out Throg. Is there any reason not to bring out Throg with my double resource? Probably you not. Just don't get. Top. Yeah, I mean, get I mean, time. I'll get it next turn. So the question is, how important is that top? Probably That's just two block. Probably not two block. I mean, what are you fishing for? You basically have everything you want out. So why don't yes. you just hold the card? Want to hold? I'll just put out Throg, and then he can do two damage now. Do you need two damage on anything? Uh, sure. Just do two damage on villain, I guess. I don't know. Or, or do you need it on Titania? Or are you gonna be able to no, kill it? I'm probably a one-two puncher because that's six even, right? Okay. Yep. So Throg will do two here. Yep. All right. So I'll draw my card. Oh, that's some some nice one-two punches. Oh, oh! There. I heal you for one, by the way. Yeah, I don't know if I need that, but okay. I mean, I mean, I might as well heal myself up to full, right? Uh, because I can ready myself. Wait, do you heal six? I heal seven, downtime. Oh, so you didn't need that anyway. That's all right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, all right. There's nothing else to do in alter ego. So I will flip up and do two damage here. And then I will spend this. By the this. way, we forgot to actually announce that people should have been drinking when we pulled Shadows of the Past. We pre, uh, pre, pre I, I feel like that's your job. Yes. So Everybody drink. We, we pulled Shadows. Sorry. <sighs> By the way, there's so much stuff out here. Oh, we're, why did I flip down? This is popping for sure. Is we it can't... popping for sure? I mean, it's at 11 uh, okay. right now. And you can't get rid of any thread on it. Yes. It's popping for sure. <laughs> uh, oh, when you kill him, you could take seven off. So you could take seven off that. It's five. Five. So I'm going to use that to pop that. Wait, what's five? Oh, it's this and, is five. no don't forget right. when you kill him you also get rid of seven because he's the last villain yeah, so. yeah but i'm not i'm not using that on that well right because i've well we could do it if you wanted but i was gonna i mean we could get rid of beast mode but i don't even know we need to i don't care about beast mode <laughs> yeah so maybe we just take uh, seven off of here then it's got to be a side scheme unfortunately i mean i guess it depends we could do this to do this and then you could do take five, five off of there i think that's the better call yep um but i do thwart for this is what three plus two five myself so yep. that would drop this down to one which would probably make you feel better i mean yeah wait how do you one two punch by the way because you're not what? ready didn't didn't i have limitless stamina yes i'm playing limitless stamina Oh, wait, what does that do? Readies me for one. Oh, but you have to be hero. Okay, yes, that's good. Um... Oh, so you can one two punch like three times. Yep. Okay. Uh, wow, let's you see. Can put a four, four counter Ant Man out. <laughs> yep. Although, not really, and one two punch twice. All right, so I'm going to one, two, punch. And then I don't need that endurance. So I'm ready. Yep. So that feels titania. So you punch her twice. And now you're, st now you're ready again because you had a second one, two, punch, right? Yep. And so that's two. Kalu kills him. Yep. All right. So, what's the order of this? When defeated, after the enemy is defeated. All right. So, yes. No, this turn is first. Yep. So, we pop this for seven. Yep. Gets rid of that. This goes away, but not the token. <laughs> uh, death goes, go back, goes back to you. Yep. And then we could pop this to take five off the main scheme. Yep. Which seems good. And then another four counter Ant Man. I mean, that's not terrible. A three at three yeah. three? Yeah, so six off of main. So main's so the zero. Down to one. 
Yeah. Okay. So we we've got a, like a clean board here, except for a light at the I, end. Yeah. I mean, I just like I I feel like Mighty Avengers, and once you kind of thin your deck enough, you can definitely get ally and support. Yeah. Uh, where's Hellcat, dude? <laughs> You're just like it's fine. Hellcat will come back. Hellcat will come back. Just not yet. Settle down, Terrence. Where's my Hellcat? Uh, well, we're about to get more things to kill. All right, so we're going to add oh, man, gonna be a good turn. two threats to the main. Oh, yeah, let me draw my cards. Ooh. Oh, I've got, to have, I've got two have at these. I've got Thor. Uh, oh, I got my spear finally. And smash the problem. As if, oh, well, I could smash the problem on the uh, scheme, on the side scheme. Um, yeah, we need more villains. So I'm definitely going to be pulling out villains this turn. No question. <laughs> like, we definitely need more villains. Okay. Um, so we are going to ambush, which adds two thread here. Uh, so Electro, boogie, woogie, woogie. Uh, I am first player, so Electro is going to scheme against me, which not much I can do about. That'd be four threat on the main scheme. Already back up to six. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot to add the plus one for this. So seven. Um, all right, attacking you. What are you doing, Falcon? Uh, actually, no. Kalu has less less stat. Okay. Right? So for two. She's a little sad. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I don't want to deck myself. That's true. All right. Let's do this. Uh, attach the villain doesn't matter which one's this can't be removed you can't remove threat while well, that's there that's all right we just got to punch electro for eight taxio do you need me to chump with throg hold on throg's worse right okay sure he's a one two so throg is definitely worse so i'll chump with throg it's plus zero oh. i don't all right uh, I'm first player. Yep. Let's see. So I'm thinking about this split personality. What do you think? I mean, it's not terrible. Like, do I even need to be ready? Like, I feel like you're gonna kill the villain, right? Um, I can. I mean, I certainly will. Or uh, is that like a gross assumption? Well, because I'm gonna have to kill a a a thing here too, right? Yeah, I mean, what else are you gonna do? I guess thwart. Are you gonna thwart like crazy? I, I'd be okay with that. Well, uh, I was gonna, I was thinking about holding meditation out of this, um, and just burning my attack cards to pay for split personality to try to draw into more allies and stuff to sure. actually like thwart. Yeah, go for it. I feel like that. That's like that's what I can do. Yep better than your deck with a leadership deck right so oh for sure um it just feels like with this particular villain do you want to put out deck. since you've got so many free resources do you want to put out superhuman strength and just have it there just to have it there so next time you punch you get two more and a stun which again i don't think the stun will matter but it might uh i mean you got a quinn carrier no. You don't want to do that? Okay. Well, just because I, I think I want to, like... I don't think I want to burn all the stuff I have in front of me. Right, because you want to see what you get. I split, yeah. And so this lets me draw five cards. I yep. hold meditation. Wait, am I on my alter ego side for real? Thanks. Yes. Okay. Is this an action? Uh, I'll take it for worse. Yeah, take here. For yep, you're healed. You are healed! Yeah, White Tiger. Sure. To draw one Why card. <laughs> I mean, she's a 3-3, three, three, though. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, my... Are you going to hold on to a regroup? Ooh, yeah, I after think you I play this. You have Ready to Rumble, by the way, which seems good right now. Do I need to be ready? Why not? I mean, you Why don't can... you choose? I can't. I'm on the wrong side. Choose a slain, right? Why choose don't you a slain? punch him down? There's no reason. Um, I don't know. Well, what else are you gonna save your stuff for? 
I guess regroup. Yeah, just regroup. Well, or are you going to mansion now? Well, I don't know. Do you need mansion? Do you want mansion? I mean, I don't need anything, but... I thought we were trying to get you allies. Oh, you've, you've got a full complement. Yeah, full. Although Falcon's going to die off here, right? My, uh, uh, I could just hold them for the regroup. Sure. And jump uh, for both of us? Yeah, and jump for both of us and get them both back. So regroup is a support. So why don't you, are you going to play that? Are you playing regroup with regroup? I could superhuman for two. What does that do? Just remove two threat. Oh, oh yeah. That's worth it. Well, yeah, and let's make, I mean, we should do something to the main. Well, I mean, both of these will four for six. So I can drop that down to one. Yeah. We do need to focus on this at some point in the game. Because that yeah. is how we win this. For those who don't know, because we didn't really explain it, <laughs> that is how you win. Oh, wait. So do you want me ready? Like, do you want me to punch something? Because you're pulling Titania, right? Probably, yes. Is that true? So six. Uh, so but I do six with these three cards here. And, I do, and you're going to do two. And I do have a have at thee. So I don't necessarily need you to do it. Okay. Um, so if you'd rather use the resources for something else, go for it. I guess like I can burn a regroup for superhuman and then basically use Ray to rumble to play for my other regroup or something. Sure. Wait, you can have more than one regroup? No, I, I will pay for one and use one for superhuman like the mental oh i see what you're saying so you're removing two we're off of light at the end i think because okay. i can get this down to one yep um i flip do the two uh i guess i just draw cards right are you doing two to yeah villain <laughs> uh i don't even need this ready it's fine Sure. So, oh, you're doing that to pay for the regroup? Yeah, and then I can give you Mansion Helicare. All right, well, I may as well draw my card now. Chase them down. That's not terrible. Yeah. Good. I mean, you should probably do your Chooser's of Slain as well. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right. So, but while I'm down, I'm going to use her to look at the top five cards okay, in my deck. So, also. I am also thwarting, right? Oh, yeah. Uh,. For six. By the way, no cards in the top five. Wah, wah. All right, so I'm going to flip. I'm definitely doing Chooser is Slain. Yeah, go ahead and pull her out if you don't mind. I'm going to draw two cards. Ooh, Flated Valkyrie. It's not terrible. Let's go ahead and just, That's put, pretty good. Let's just put that in right now. <laughs> um,. I'm going to get my spear out too. I don't need to smash the problem. This says we turn. can't for it. So now I got a spear. So I can actually defend at some point if I need to. Um, okay. So six and six. Uh, you said I have a helicarrier also? Yep. Um... So have at the Thor would do three. Yeah. Uh, I still need one more resource. How does this always happen? Oh, I will get my one more resource when I death glow and Valhalla. All right. So I'm good. So I'm going to have at the to add death glow to the villain. I'm going to attack the villain for two, four, five, six, seven which kills, gives me my death glow back, lets me heal one and lets me draw a card for Valhalla and ready. And I get to take seven off a of side scheme. Yep. I mean, that seems not like the worst thing ever. Then I can smash Titania. Um, oh, and I have uh, chased them down, removed two threat from a scheme, 
We'll just keep going over here. I feel like there should be a thing in the snare that lets you just selectively ambush. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm not chasing them down. Sorry. I'd rather put in Thor. I'll put the two threat back in. Right? That makes more sense. Wait. Do you need... Is Thor an Avenger? Yes. Reduce the cost of the next Avenger I play this phase. Okay. One. So that's one... To... Did you helicarrier? I did helicarrier uh, okay. earlier. I believe I did. I don't even remember at this point. Okay. Um. Oh, and I never flighted the Valkyrie either. I thought you popped that, didn't you? I should have. I never spent it. Um. So. All right. And then Thor is tough. So actually, I don't have enough to kill Titania. But I can hurt her enough that she won't really do any damage to me. I can get her down to one. So I think that's what I do. Uh, cause I, I don't have a death glow. Any oh, no, I do have a death glow. I chase them down to death glow her. So I can do five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Seems good. And that is all, right? So we will ready up, draw up. And I have decked myself. And three card hand, four card hand. I mean, you don't really have a four card hand because you draw like 57 cards a turn. I only draw three cards a turn. In addition to your four card hand. I mean, it costs, like, ten resources to draw three cards a turn, though. <laughs> well, yes. All right. Like, Focus Rage is so expensive, man. Uh, I feel Electro. like she... I feel like she's overcosted by a lot. Uh, uh, do you want me to block with Annabelle? Although I just did deck myself. No, I, I, I am chomping both of these because I have regroup out. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So chump the first one, plus two. Chump the second one, plus one. And then uh, you go ahead and draw your card first, and then I draw one. Oh, I do take one damage. I'm sorry. From uh, do you want to chump that too? No, because oh. I uh, I heal that when I Valhalla. And she's got the death glow on her, a as if that's uh, a, like that. disease or something. Fourth round, you side scheme. Uh, I do need to draw a second one. Catch the villain with the highest. Who cares? Uh, X is the number of villains in play. Yeah, nothing. Uh, hero, the villain with the highest activation order attacks. So, do you want to chump that now? Uh, now that puts it in your hand, right? I do have Thor, who's tough here. Yeah, I mean, you could block with Animal and go in your hand. Oh wait, Annabelle goes in my hand. Any any ally defeat this return gets returned to owner's hand. All right, yeah, I'll jump with Annabelle then. So he attacks four, two. That barely kills Annabelle. By the way, I should have used her to thwart or something last turn. I don't know why I didn't. Was not paying attention. Actually, Thor might not even be bad to attack with because he takes two consequential. Yeah, probably not. Cool. Uh, your first player. Um. So do I pull out Angela? <laughs> if you want. I mean, I don't really know what the benefit of that is. Oh man, remember Hellcat? <laughs> you still haven't seen Hellcat? Oh, there! Yay! Um. Or do I could pull out a different uh, dude, right? Well, let's start with this. This is the easiest thing to do. I'm just going to attack. Kill Titania. Which gives me my death glow back. Heals me one. Readies me. And lets me draw a card. 
right, I can hit somebody pretty hard. You just need to do eight. That's all you can do. You have no more things to attack unless you choose to slay in something. Or bring Angela. Yeah. Uh, do you want to chase him down while you're at it? Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Chase him down to remove two. Uh, you want it from here or from here? I assume that the thing that lets yeah. us win, right? Because you could do three pretty easily. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, well, Thor doesn't even need to attack. So do I bring Angela in with Bifrost? Or do I flip uh -huh. down and then bring some? I was going to flip down. Oh, you can flip but... down. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I just don't have a whole lot to do, except none of us can really thwart very much either. That's it's like a uh, we just ran out, we ran out of things that punch. That's the problem. Well, that's what I'm saying. I could I could get us a, all right. I'm gonna godlike stamina to put death glow on uh, on electro. By the way, for no apparent reason. Because you have you have, you just like uh, I'm I, full health. I don't yeah. know what to do with my health. <laughs> I mean, you, might, you might as well put out Aragorn so you can fly around on a horse. I mean, sure. Well, I don't know if I have enough resources for all that now. Come on, Terrence. That seems excessive. All right, so it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more damage somehow. All right. Skilled strike. <laughs> uh, all right. So then I kill this, get my death glow back, ready myself. So you can port for one? Remove seven. I mean, no, 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 no. Terrence. Terrence, oh, yeah. slow down. I can smash the problem, Terrence. Right? Are you going to smash the problem? I think I guess you are. I mean, why wouldn't I do that? So I'm going to smash the problem, uh, which I have to exhaust myself, and my attack is two, three, four. Let me just take it off main, and you focus on the right. side. Um, cool. Do you want a resource? You can play one of these two. Yeah, which one would you play? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't need the extra four hit points. I'll, I'll play Annabelle. Yeah, I'll take the resource. Thank you, sir. And then <laughs> she will thwart for one. Because <laughs> why not? We're down to nine. All right. Um, I just have to thwart for nine. Is that what you're saying? All right. Who thought that this game would be easy? I mean, I guess Sinister Six is interesting because they're a second to last villain. And they're not that hard. You can get pummeled, though, early on, I think, uh, if you're not careful. Yeah. Um, like, if you get unlucky with uh, some of the, like, that attack card early on, because you're not able to, like, stabilize the board. Well, if you don't have chumping, the... yeah, that's true. Uh, like, what was that story that uh, Candy Hawk and uh, Americano were saying that, like, they got they're playing a four player game so like you know you had five villains out and then uh they got the card that was like plus x attack where x is the number of like other villain attack right and it's yeah, just no, like it's like turn one dude right it's just like well, uh that, yeah, no that one... can happen yeah and and they had to like the only one who could take it was like war machine he got like one hp <laughs> uh so that can happen uh, you can get unlucky, I think, in higher player counts, uh, just because you can get the treacheries also that will chain into that, where it's right. like, you might have cleared the board, but then, like, now you've, like, basically had two more villains, you know, come out each per player. Yeah. Uh, um, but I'll do this. Let's put out White Tiger. Draw a card. Draw a card. Because that's what I do. Um... Superhuman Strength. <laughs> uh oh man can you give me a card or i'll get it i got it yeah uh draw a card honestly got ground stomp i was thinking about this is like honestly not terrible if you actually have a good number of villains out i mean but is that ever gonna happen <laughs> It did in my solo game of just like early on I got like that treachery that brought a bunch out. Yeah. Like not two and it was like huh, like Well we could that could happen to us, right? Like we could do one that brings yeah, that, two that and then happen. another one yeah. that brings two more. Like it certainly can happen. Yeah. Oh, you need meditation uh, to bring stuff in or are you wait. just gonna heal to full? I should have used clarity of purpose. 
Can I retcon that somehow? Yeah. Uh, I use a double resource. Eh, it's fine. Um, Is that a hero action? Well, you didn't have to flip down yet, right? There's nothing that's forced you to flip down yet. Uh, that's true. Um, let's do this. One, two, three. Could put a Hellcat. And you could put one more, right? Yep. So you can put Falcon also. Yep. I mean, you don't even need uh, meditation to put out Falcon. You could literally just pay for Falcon and then uh, heal yourself. <laughs> it's ridiculous. How many resources? That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking of doing. Yeah. And you have Quinn Carrier, by the way. So if you want to hold a card back, feel free. Hold no, meditation. I'm using Quinn Carrier for uh, Superhuman. All right, so let's look at top three. Uh, is it look at or discard? Look at. So just one. So yeah, how much does it one. remove? One. But let's just do beast mode, I guess, because this is nine right here. Okay, so we flip to the next scheme. Yeah. Uh, players. Wait, actually, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, let's clear that, and I'll hold one back. Well, do you want to do nine, or do you want to do eight and do two with um, Quinn Carrier? Yeah, that's what I was going to do, so I can thwart three off of the next one. So you got six plus two, so you're exactly at eight, is what we're saying yeah. here. Yeah. All right, so so it's five plus 20. Yeah, and then I'll do another three on that. Uh, players cannot force interrupt. When the last threat is removed from this, the players escape and win. Oh, so we do get plus one card, but yeah. All right. Yep. <laughs> uh, are you doing anything? Hold on. ant man still got an extra health, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Another, so another three. three yeah. So yeah, another three. All right. I wish I could pull out the villains with Angela. Like, I wish I could pull yeah, out. I, saying, like, I, I wish there was an ambush of action that you could take to just, like, get minions out, but it's fine. I mean, we, there aren't many minions in here. That's the problem. There aren't many minions in this, uh, whatever. All right, I got to have at thee. And two shield maidens. Can I do two at once? I do have to choose where to yeah, slay. same trigger. It's the same trigger, so you can. I mean, that and might doesn't be... doesn't say limit okay. one. Well, I also have Thor to chump. Do you have anybody yeah. you want to get rid of? No, Thor's better to just chump. And then I've got... No, I, mean, I can literally Thor for what? Three... This, this is nine. No, four times three, 12. I'll thwart for 12, which is my allies next turn. <laughs> nine down says, oh, snap. I didn't know it flipped again. It doesn't flip again. We just haven't flipped it yet. This is literally the first yeah. time we flipped it. Yeah. Uh, so it's we're going to be four, three, four cards this turn now. It's going to be what? Oh, you're, you're face down? Yeah. How did you? Oh, yeah. So we only had two. All right. Um, so then we get ambushed. So we do add two to this. And then uh, he attacks me, so I just block with Thor. I mean, you you could have it. Yeah, I just block with Thor. Yeah, there's no reason not. Gotta to. use that tough or something. <laughs> right. Uh, one plus two is three total. Wait, what is this? Oh, this should go on shuffle somewhere, right? Well, yeah, it should get shuffled in. It's fine. Well, it's, isn't it look not search? Oh, was it? It's, yeah, it's look, and oh, since wow. it's not search, you have to shuffle. It's I I, I, I it's messed it up. Sorry. You should now, but it's fine. Let's uh let's start the game over. I haven't validated it. <laughs> uh, two cards, I guess. Or no, we gotta do scheme. Scheme against me. Nothing. So two. Two. And then, and then uh, I take two. two. You take one. one. Oh, there you go. He attacks me. Um, so do I double shield, shield maiden or do I just single? I assume I can't pay a double resource to double. No, you cannot. All right, so I'm going to get rid of Havati. Or no, I'm going to get rid of shield maiden to pay for shield maiden. I'll just do one. So I block for three because he doesn't have death glow on him. Stun a character you control and confuse a character you control. Well, that is um unfortunately gonna be uh what's her name 
She's stunned and confused. It's very nice of you. I mean, you know, Annabelle, she does what she does. She's here for me. Whenever I need her, Annabelle is here. Okay. Um, so my second one is in expert mode, this card gains in sight one and cannot be canceled. Wow. That is okay. When real, put the set aside Electro and Craven Hunter into play. All right. This one's Doc Ock. That's Electro. This is Craven. Oh, you finally have things to kill. I know, right? Uh, I'm glad I held on to my uh, have at thee now. Uh, yeah. You know, when I said four cards, really what I meant was six cards. Wait, what? Oh. Insight one. Yep. Put Doc Ock and Scorpion. Uh, so this happened. <laughs> they, yeah. Uh, villain schemes. So it's two plus three is five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Terrence. Man. Uh, highest attack. Highest attack is Scorpion, Scorpion for sure. All right, Terrence, your first player. Just kill yeah. this stuff. 21, you got that. I feel like you got that by yourself. Do I? Don't you have like some stuff you can... Well, you have limitless stamina, so you can ready yourself. So you can help me kill some stuff this turn. Well, you can help me kill some stuff. All right, so what do you want the two on? Well, something with eight, so then you could punch it twice with your so one two punch. Him, no one else can take damage. Oh, okay. Well, you can do six more to him, right? With your one two punch. Oh, now you can just straight up kill him. Use your uh... resource and then gamma slam. <laughs> All right, so let's punch. Ready. Punch, punch. again. Ready. Punch. Okay, so he's dead, so that's four. Bye. How much do we do? And you got limitless stamina. You need 17. Unfortunately, Emma Slam one does three. So it's like less than one per damage. Yes. Well, you have limitless stamina. Like I said, you can get ready. Um, that would only do like another six, right? It would only do another three. I mean, I don't know that it matters. Just don't you have like a have at the? I do. Just so I like... can do seven. Well, you got to punch something first. I, and I All don't right. want to do it yet because I want to put my death glow on something first so I get to draw a card and then have at thee. That makes more sense, right? Sure. <laughs> Useless card. Oh, I forgot to do that. Can I on that? Let's do that. Two off of that. And then this is 12. So it's down to three? And then I'll return to Hellcat and then pay for her and then four for three. Nice. Now, this would I mean, be terrible well, right? in this scenario because all these guys would be coming to the next fight. Um, but for... Uh, that, was a, that was a lot of threat removal, actually. I was kind of impressed. 15 off the yeah. allies. No, I, uh, I I can't complain about your threat removal, Terrence, with, uh, with She-Hulk. She-Hulk threat removal, <laughs> leadership threat removal. Uh, I mean, once we get there, she's the mighty Avenger. She hawked the mighty Avenger. Yeah, once we got things rolling at the end there. I mean, it works the same with removing threat. It turns out as it does with attacking a villain for a ton of damage on the last turn. You could do both. Uh, turns out, leadership very flexible <laughs> can do either. Yes. Well, I mean, yes, leadership might be a little broken still. Seems good. Definitely seems good. Um, all right. So, do we want to talk a little bit about our Gen Con experience, like our Marvel Champions yeah, games? Because uh, we kind of cut that short last time, right? Yep, yep. So, we'll do a little bit more of that. I didn't prepare anything, but uh, Nine Down says, well done, y'all. Thank you very much, Nine Down. Appreciate it. Appreciate you hanging out. You were, like, here before the stream started, and you're still here at the end. I, I feel like you're the, uh, you know, you, you should get something out of this. So, uh, you, you just get our, 
our hearty congratulations for uh, for surviving uh, the uh, the uh, game with uh, Sinister Six. Yeah, and watching Valkyrie be awesome at some moments and just terrible at others, which is what she does. Uh, I don't know if I... I, oh, I, I feel like I'm not... I feel like heroes that def, like excel in multiplayer, I'm not super sad about that. Like, as long as it's not like every hero, like you definitely have a choice of like... I think most heroes work in solo, but like having a few heroes that are pretty niche and definitely have like a thing they're good at um i think she'd be pretty good protection the problem is she'd have to get her spear early and she's just like praying for that spear yeah i i just think she she's not general enough probably for most solo people unless you basically do justice or something that can manage both threat yeah and stuff um but you know like i actually think in multiplayer especially like a four player game or something there's always something to kill probably with death glow and i mean five attack five base attack is nothing to sniff at i think she would be fun against a a real hefty life villain because there were certainly turns where i got like a couple skilled strikes a couple of you know exhaust your weapon stuff you know now you're talking like a a 10 or 15 damage attack which would be kind of fun and you keep death glow on and then You've got three defense against it. Plus, you know, if you get a shield maiden, now it's five for one for two cards out of your hand. That's not bad either. Yeah. Um. You know, again, it's it's a little niche, but it's. I do think. Yeah, I mean, she's just torn in both directions. I mean, and I think their thought was, oh, you could do both things, but it's not really good to do both things. Like, maybe early on you use your death glow to take out some minions and, like, draw some cards. But you, you also have to, like, orchestrate that pretty well, too. Which is not... Um, not the Yeah, and I, I think that's where in multiplayer she can excel because she doesn't have to do yeah. it all, is yeah. what I was thinking. But in multiplayer she also... The death glow doesn't necessarily trigger off of minions as often because oh i mean it depends like people would have to leave minions around for you most of the time uh so we got nine down saying just making up for missing the last few streams uh and also terence lee dang so he's uh very impressed with your thwarting ability on that last. i, I think it meant because i said i lost the credit purpose from the cutoff guard earlier yeah. when he asked because he said i i had played it he saw me play it but then it wasn't there anymore got it yeah, so let's um, talk a little about Gen Con. So how many times did you play Marvel Champions? So let's go through day by day. Do you want to do me first or you first? Did you say 10 or something? Didn't you say I did 10? I don't I don't remember how many games I played. Okay, so uh, we played the first night we came in, right? Wednesday yeah. night. Uh, we played a game with Jerry, and then we played Marvel Champions uh, that night. And then the next morning, so, what was that? Yeah, we did Influencer next morning. Yep, the next we morning. We did a half game. Yeah, we did a half game because I insisted we play Expert, even though we were playing. So we played with Dale, the casual gamer, and another guy that I didn't know. Um, yep. But we. And, and it was super cool to meet Dale. Uh, uh, I've seen some of his stuff, but super nice guy. Super nice. Um, and so was the other guy we played with. Super nice. So they yeah. they got to play Colossus and Shadow Cat. We did not. I kind of insisted we played Expert because we were. Um, we brought pre con. Or not pre con decks. We had fully constructed decks, even though they had pre-con decks. And it was the first villain, you know, So, which is usually pretty quick. But as we kind of talked a little bit about last week, but we can touch on it here because some people might not have been here last week. The first villain in the campaign is Sabretooth, and he literally heals after every activation. So in a four-player game, he's healing four times before the players go back again. And then if he advances or if he uh, gangs up or whatever else, he's going to be healing even more. So yeah, which exactly makes sense, uh, and also matches mechanically the Wolverine hero that you were talking with Kayla about, or it, at least it was it spoiled, right? So yeah, that just got that, spoiled, like, and I did see that. So Wolverine does heal. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it should, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. so. uh, it does mean it just takes 
longer, right? You got to do bigger damage and you can't do like plank damage to the villain and kind of have that stack, right? So, well, it's kind of uh, like this game, you know, we had thwarted that side scheme down to like 15 or whatever and then it won't we look around two seconds later it's back up to 27 yeah so it's like okay well already then um except the difference is here that if we hadn't thwarted it down to 15 it would have just gone up from its start yeah, there's no area. there's no health cap like there is on Sabretooth. yeah so saber uh, does have a cap so uh and we'll talk a little bit about uh Colossus. So the big thing with Colossus is every time they flip from Alter Ego to Hero, they get a tough status card. And they can spend those tough statuses to play some cards to do like more damage, whatever else. And he can have two tough status cards, right? That was the big thing. Yep. Yeah, and then he gets a... I forget the name of the card, but he gets a card that allows him, I think, to get tough statuses uh, a few times. Yeah. So uh, we didn't play him, so we don't know. Um exactly what it was it spoiled I, I don't remember the name of the card but in, i just haven't played him uh like peter's saying so i don't know the card super well um uh there was there is one card i do remember armored up which was cool thematically uh because i you know like if you've seen the x-men cartoons from the 90s it's just like he goes from his like normal human form into you know his like steel form and uh armored up is like allows you to go from ultra ego and flip into hero mode and defend for someone and oh, so nice. you get that tough flip, right yep. uh, from his ability like from the hero ability and so i think that's just a thematically cool card right now he does have to have that in his hand while he's down and you don't know you yes. have it unless you're holding it so it's not i don't know stuff like that's always weird to me because i'm just like i wish you knew ahead of time you were gonna have that you know, like I wish he had a way to. I wish it, and you could, you could also, right? You know what I wish they did more of? I wish that was an upgrade or a um. What's the Black Widow preparation? Something like that. You know what I mean? Is there something to get out of your hands? Yeah, so you I think it's it, there. It makes a lot of cards much stronger, and so they want you to have to make the choice. But it's not a choice if you see my point, because I don't know whether I'm going to get it or not. So no, I mean, it's a choice if you had, it, if you held it, right. I got you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause it's um, an event. And I, I think like, like in most card games, there isn't a penalty for holding, right? Like, like if you have a test of will, which is like, uh, the enhanced spider sense and, uh, Marvel champions, like it like cancels a threat, uh, one reveal effect. Right. Like you hold the, cards in lord of the rings like it's super good right but like how many times do you do that in here it's like you don't right it's why you like those preparations um, right but preparations are much stronger because and that's how they bounce it where the prep cards generally aren't globally affecting but the event cards can be and so i think that's kind of how they balance that is that 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 would just be i think that's just considered super strong in this game to just always have all the answers well i don't uh it's my I... No, but if it's a hero specific card, that's a preparation. You know what I mean? Like it's not like it's going to be overpowered cuz right now it's I, I guess almost thematically it's just it's it's not a preparation though, right? Like it's like a spur of the moment you flip. Yeah, I mean I guess. But like I mean thematically, why would you like you're holding that ability back, I guess. Like I, I don't know. Like it, it that's weird. And maybe it is a preparation. We don't even know, right? Like did we? It, I'm pretty sure it's an event. It's an event. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So then we'll talk about Shadow Cat, who can make herself invisible, basically, um, or not invisible, but like incorporeal. So she, but as soon as she attacks or defends, that goes away. So she flips back to her corporeal side. But the nice part is she does get to, if she defends, she gets to ignore all damage, regardless of how much it was. So it's kind of like a tough uh, in and of itself. Except even better in some stan circumstances, because it ignores piercing, but worse in most circumstances because you have to defend to get it. Right. Yeah, uh, she. I think she's going to be really interesting to play because I think she's going to be. She's definitely, and it's like vision, right? Where it's like, I think the form flipping thing will be. She's probably the one in the more complex form flipping heroes that we have. Okay. Uh, so I think that'll, it'll be interesting to see how people, I think, like playing her. 
Yeah, no. I mean, I didn't get to play her, so I don't know. But um, she seemed fun. So we did that 10 a.m. the next day. And then the next night, we played Marvel Champions again, right? Till like 2 to 4 in the morning. Is that true? I mean, as, as you know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's true. We played again the following night after everybody else went to bed. Um, and yeah. so, so that was Thursday. So Wednesday night, Thursday night. So that was three games that we had played together already. Don't think we played Friday, though. At all. Did we? Uh, no, I played with Brant because you went drinking on Friday. Yes. So Friday night, you went and played with Brant. You played a couple games with him. I mean, we could say that you played with Caleb also, right? Yes, I, I I had dinner with Caleb and uh, Roy, Roy uh, Kennedy and, and Brant, um, uh, and, and, which I happened to stumble upon that, which was a highlight and surprise of a Gen Con for me. Yeah, no, uh, that's and, freaking awesome. And it's it's always fun to like. I feel like I like as much as I saw Caleb, I've seen Caleb around through the years of both Lord of the Rings and kind of Marvel. Um, it it's really hard to be able to get to sit down and play with him. Like, that's not very common. He's always busy, right? Either doing stuff at Gen Con, he's, like, running the events, right? Like, he was uh, this time. Or, you know, at the con, he you weren't there, but, like, he only came to hang out. He didn't, like, sit down and play with anyone, right? Um, well, and he did that this weekend, though. Uh, I feel like he played with Brant at least once. Um, yeah, I think he felt bad for Brant. <laughs> well, we uh, paid for an event ticket for him, and then he ended up yeah. teaching new people how to play. So yep. um, then he played with them there. Although it was a quick game because yep. those two finished before our four player game. He finished teaching two new players and they finished a game before we finished our four player game. Yeah. Um, well, I think they just did something standard. So, yeah. So that and, was and it's. Yeah. So how many games did you all end up playing that night? Uh, Friday. Uh, I think I only played two because I only played the, I think Brent and I only played one game. Together. And then you played another one afterward? Yeah. Okay, so that was Friday night. So you had two more games than me at that point. And then Saturday, we had our one thirty game. Uh, and we played with my son, which was awesome. Uh, he got a little distracted by the costume thing at the end of the game. So he ended up killing the villain for us. Uh, <laughs> he ended up killing... Uh, wasn't his name again? Uh, Sabretooth. Sabretooth. Yeah, he ended up killing Sabretooth uh, at the end. But he was watching the parade of costumes go by. Uh, so that was Saturday, uh, and that one we brought we all brought decks because again, uh, but we did only play standard, and it still took us the full two hours to finish. Um, so I do think Sabretooth, especially at four players, is a little bit of a longer game. But I also had to build up Hero as well, so we certainly probably could have gotten it done faster if it wasn't. It's also, it's also a new scenario too, right? Like you got to read the cards, and it's a little more complicated. It is. Uh, For a first scenario, it was actually quite complicated. I was actually surprised um, how complicated it was for a first scenario. Yeah, you got to protect the, sen the senator, and it's like not just smash the villain. Um, I mean, also become smash the villain, but... Um, right. But, but you're yeah. doing stuff before that. <sighs> yep. Excuse me. Uh, oh, it's after midnight. I'm turning into a pumpkin. Um, yeah, so we played that with my son, which was awesome. And then I hadn't spent as much time with my son as I wanted to. So at the end of the night, after we did, again, a bunch of other stuff, which we talked about, if you want to hear all about our Gen Con experience, go to the Gen Con podcast we did like a week ago, um, Tuesday, uh, where Terrence is on, I'm on, and Jerry is on as well. So we talk about everything we played at that point. But here we're just focused on Marvel. Uh, so that night, that Saturday night, we ended up playing. My son, I asked him what he wanted to play. I was like, we haven't played a lot this weekend together. What do you want to play? And he chose Marvel Champions to play again. So it was you, me, who is it, Jerry? Yep. And Nick. Yeah, so it was the four of us played. And then after that game, Jerry and Nick went and left. And Howard and... and... Oh, go ahead. Howard. Was... Oh, no, not Howard. It Nick. was Nick, Nick and came. another Nick that is not yes, not my son. son Nick. Yes, well, and we ended up playing with Nick. It was Nick and who? Um, I feel terrible now. It wasn't Chuck because Chuck left, right? Right, but he didn't play with us. But he did come yeah. and say hi. So yeah, Nick and Chuck from our Discord came by, said hi. 
Uh, we hung out with them for a little bit, and then we ended up playing with Nick. Nick. Yes. Was it a three-player game? It was, it was a three-player three game, right? game. Yep. So I think it was just Nick. It was Nick, for sure. Yep. So then we ended up playing that. Um, so that was our third game of the day. So we played three games... And then we had played three games earlier in the week. So that's six. So you played eight. I played six. Which was by far, I think that was more games than I played of everything else combined that weekend of Gen Con. <laughs> I played more Marvel Champions versus every That's probably other true game. for me. It was just easy to get out, you know? Uh, yeah. And we had the decks. I always brought all my stuff, not most of my stuff with me. So yeah. I at least had my decks. Uh, well, yeah, no, you I mean, brought all your stuff because you would not play with my encounter cards because I don't have them sleeved. So, yep. there, so there's that. There's gross. <laughs> gross card. Uh, yeah, we're trying to... Uh, I think one of the things that was surprising to me when we were sitting down playing on Friday was just how many people came by and didn't know what the game was and asked us about it and asked us, like... And, you know, we directed them to the FFG booth. Saturday If they were going to be there on Sunday. Yeah, on Saturday night, um, yep. on Sunday. Uh, you know, a game that we think a lot of people know about because it's... Not necessarily because they play it, but just because it's been around for a little while now, right? But Well, and um, I think it helped that we had my son there because people are like, oh, this is something you play with your kids, right? So I actually, yeah. although Nick's almost as big as I, or at least as tall as I am, so maybe he doesn't look like a little kid. He, he still looks like, uh, uh, you know, a kid. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that helps, though. It made it uh, our table more approachable. Um and yeah, no, it was good spreading the word about Marvel Champions. And we talked a little bit about the channel. I don't know if anybody knew was watching from that. Um, if they were, I, w I hope they would speak up and, and say hi. Um, certainly, if you're watching this now and you were one of the people that was asking us about it, you know, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Like, did you end up picking up the game? Did you end up playing it? What do you think? Um, certainly, we can even give some new player recommendations, stuff like that as well. So, but yeah. yeah, and then beat the game uh, has been doing a bunch of content for new new players as well. Yep, for which is, kind of depth and stuff beyond the core, right? Yep, which is awesome. Yeah, no, I, I mean I think that's important, and that's why like you don't see the first play and impression videos here anymore. We're putting those on the main channel just because there's so many more subscribers. We're still building this. I mean you got to remember like that channel has been around for like six years. This channel has been around a little over a year, well, I guess a little over a year and a half at this point. So, I mean, it's a very different like, um, audience, like they've just been around so long. So because of that, we're putting all those first plays over there because we want new people to get into the game and we want new people to get exposure to that for the next cycle, because there's going to be four heroes at the same time, I'll probably split them up a little more. I probably won't put them all over there. I'll probably just put like one or two over there and one or two over here. Um, and maybe even do some of them live because I don't know that I'll be able to do four early. Uh, I do think we've got enough spoiled that I can do a couple of them early and get them ready to, to go on over there. Yeah, we did uh, one of the nice things about the influencer event, which I guess we, if you weren't here last week, uh, was that you know, Peter said we got to see them. We didn't actually get the people who came and paid for ticket to, tickets to play in the event didn't actually get to see the new heroes, right? Yes. Um, and so we actually got photos that I think I posted up and shared with Mag from Holly Heroes. So I think all that stuff is up. Um, so if you want to see all the new cards and you don't care about first impressions uh, the first time you open a pack, uh, those are out and available on Holly Heroes. Um, the it's also in I our took. Discord. I, I took pictures and I posted them in our Discord in the Fantasy Flight uh, Living Card Game section of our Discord. So they're up there yeah. too. Um, yeah. I, I, do you have any? I guess like beyond the heroes, like your thoughts on X Men uh, as kind of final closing comments from Gen Con? Because I mean, it's probably like the newest, right? Yeah, I've only played that first scenario. I didn't get a great impression, which, I mean, is good for me because I do like my first impression videos really to be first impression videos. So I didn't get uh, a whole you lot. Of... You don't mean quality, right? Great. You just mean an understanding. Well, right. Yeah, yeah. Because I want, until I play a hero, honestly, I don't really understand what's going on anyway. So it's nice to, like, 
play through it, see the mechanics. Look, I'm gonna get some stuff wrong on those first play videos sometimes. It just is what it is, unless I really screw it up, which I did with my spider video. Um, I'm not gonna redo it, but you know, it just is what it is. There's gonna be mistakes made a lot of times, but it is also a first impression video. I think people like to see the excitement because I get very excited about new cool cards. And then sometimes they, I think people like to see me not get excited about stuff that I'm like, wow, this is like terrible. Um, but it's a real reaction. It's a live reaction. So uh, that's why I like doing those first impression videos, typically live. But even if they're not live, they really are, like I'll edit them down a little, just so there's not as many ums or whatever else, or not as much dead air. But uh, it's still a true first impression. I'm not hiding anything. You still there, buddy? You seem to be frozen on mine. Yeah. Um, oh, am I frozen? Oh, you're back. Hello. Yeah. Guess who's back? Uh, I got a chance to probably look at X a little bit more. Um, because yep. we got to play through the, some of the stuff in the box again. Uh, kind of with Caleb. Um, and. Yeah, the I think one of the cool things is just X Men. I, I think like he he was going for trying to make them feel like a team. Yeah. Um, and I think that really comes through in the cards. And I'm really excited that for a four player group, you don't have to go through the same situation Peter and I did when you show up and you're just like, well, only two of us get to be X Men. So I think it'll be fun that you can actually get a four a full four player X Men group. Um, yep. And are they all? F and well, we don't know if they're all four different aspects, right? At this point, has that been released? Uh, I think we do because they've all been spoiled. And usually, uh, so I, think... I, I would guess that they are, right? If I had to guess. Yeah. So I, I think you get um, Colossus's uh, protection. Shadow Cat is aggression. This is all stuff that we knew before Gen Con. Um, I think Phoenix is justice and Cyclops is leadership. I want to say, which makes well, sense. Well, yeah, like, Cyclops leadership yeah, makes. And... A lot of sense yeah. uh and yeah so i, I think like the x-men allies i've seen what they've kind of spoiled all the, these training cards too like they kind of stay around longer a lot longer than we're used to so that's like kind of a interesting change and uh one of the cards that i think was played in our game the extra which i don't i forget which hero it comes in uh we didn't play those so like, i don't remember but it's like basically a mix of quinn carrier and helicarrier Okay. Uh, where it's like, work? well, it's like Quinn Care that generates a wild, but it's like Helicare that it's like any any player who has the identity of an X Men trait, you can like exhaust it to generate a wild for any of those players. Oh, anyone that's cool. Who has an X Men trait, so that's why I mean it's like a mix because you get that global effect of Helicare, but it's not reducing; it's actually like generating Does that a wild. Cost four which is or is it only three? Three. Oh wow! Yeah, that is great. Uh, so that's like great uh and it's x-men trade so you can actually like team building exercise it in um even uh and so there's definitely like some cool cards there uh uh so i'm excited to kind of get that table and it does feel in some ways like a core 2.0 uh or not 2.0 but like a kind of, like kind of a like a core. different core well because uh, you're getting multiple like a, heroes at, it, at the same time as well well i mean you do have to buy the two extra packs so you do only get the two heroes but like if you buy all that stuff it does feel like almost a reset in many ways and one of the things that i asked was just and, and i think is really cool is that all the art is different so like even though you're getting like a genius energy strength like all those cards are all x-men art yes and uh he told us that you're actually not on to mix the stream so they're they can't mix like x-men and avengers art together so like even though we're getting like a, some duplicates like perseverance we've had before like that that card has a picture of like Wolverine on it and not like what we had before. And yeah. so I, it's always fun to get alt art version. Or I, don't, I don't know if it's like alt art at that point, but you know, different, different kind of versions of, of those cards uh, I think are fun. Yeah. I'm trying to look back because it is quite a ways since Gen Con. I mean, it's so funny. It's only been two weeks, but our discord is so active that two weeks ago is like, I got, I mean, I, I have the, I have the photos. I can send them to you on discord. Yeah. Well, I have 20 new messages since 1.35 today uh, on just on the Fantasy Flight um, LCG. Oh, okay. You just sent me pictures now. Oh. I was just wondering, like, do you remember what the strength genius... Uh, yeah, I, I can't 
access that, Terrence. I, I, we're, no, not, uh, we're not good enough friends for that. <laughs> good enough friends. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, scroll me... up. Yeah, I mean, gosh. Yeah, if you want to be in an active Discord, holy cow, our, our Discord is very active. Um, uh, it depends on how much of it you want. Uh, I can get you a link pretty quickly. Um, I, I, I've I already found them. Um, now, I haven't found those cards specifically yet because I'm looking at the protection cards. I'm just trying. Do you remember which the strength, genius, energy were? Oh, there they are. So genius, I don't even know who that is. That looks like beast, and then Phoenix is energy, and then I forget the name of the strength card character. Okay. Yeah, Phoenix is definitely energy. Genius. Oh yeah, this this X this X mansion location that's a support, it's two cost. Uh, you can exhaust it and alter you to heal heal a mutant X Men character. And, that... and then any 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 mutant can trigger this ability. So like anyone who's an ultra ego, so you can like it's like crew quarters, but like infinitely better. Yeah. Because it's a character, so that means you can keep like allies around. Well and, and that's like a different and... way to think about stuff too. And so people may be upset. They're like, oh, they're just it's a power creep, right? But we have to remember these are only for X Men, right? Not yep. for everyone. Only for X Men. And so they're really building on this like team, I think, thing that is very strong, I think that with the X Men. Yep. Um and so I think that it's it'll be cool to see how they lean into that uh over this cycle. Um and the other thing that uh was announced during Gen Con, not like the event itself, but as part of the in flight the in flight shorts for the Marvel one was the the Moho um mania. And I heard, kind of that I heard Caleb talking stuff. about that, and I talked with him a little bit, and so no spoilers here, but he was super excited. He didn't work on it himself, but he was super excited by. Uh, there, yeah, I mean, there's already, there's already a spoiler article I think on it on FG, so uh, people definitely, if they you want to, can read into it. Um, but I think this is a Tony Fachi, the new designer on Champions. This is one of his first, I think products he's had his hand in uh directly and i think so he was more excited so. by the theme like because there's apparently i don't know much about moho it is that what it is moho is that his name yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know much about him as a, a, a villain but apparently they um it, he's like in he traps people in like an arena basically kind of like tv show for sport kind of yeah. thing but apparently there's like different stages or whatever. There's different arenas. Yeah, it's like it's like a game show, right? It's like, you know, like like, like the Smash running man? TV or whatever. What? Like the running man? Uh I'm not the one with the running man. What? Oh my god, Terrence. Arnold Schwarzenegger? Sub Zero. He's now just plain zero. Oh man, that is one of the greatest movies. Alright. You gotta go watch Running Man, that's your homework. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's like it's like a you know a, a messed up game show kind of thing where people have to battle it out in an arena like the Coliseum or something for entertainment. But oh, it's like more high tech. I said Moho, but it's Mojo says Nine Down. Yeah, yeah Mojo. Uh, uh, and Nine Down says, and yeah, like Running Man, lots of laughs. Uh, so yeah, no, Running Man's great. So like, there are all these prisoners, and like, they're promised like they get to not only get out of jail if they do this, but like, they get this free trip or whatever. Um, yeah, and it's so it, they they basically throw them in this arena, and they have to fight against these guys. You know, they're just basically in these spandex suits, and they're fighting against guys. Like one guy's got a flamethrower. Another one called Sub Zero is like a hockey has got like hockey goalie gear on, but like. His goalie stick is like, you know, a, like a scythe type thing. Um, yeah, and they're and they're on the ice. And they had another guy with a motorcycle and a chainsaw. Oh, yeah, no, it's freaking great. And you're watching, like, Arnold and, and these three other jobbers, like, basically fight these different, like, bad guys. And people are, like, taking bets on who's going to kill, like, the contestants first. <laughs> like, which of the, uh, the hunters... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a great movie. You got to see it. I feel like I put you to sleep, Terrence. No, I just, I mean, I, I haven't seen it. So it's like hard to. 
it's hard to visualize. Well, yeah. We'll we'll talk more about it next week after you've seen it. <laughs> I don't even know what's on. It's probably not even on a streaming service. Um, I was just like, is there do I have to like yeah, go you to gotta, Blockbuster? No, you gotta go to your library. That's what we do. Do you not go to libraries and get DVDs out? We we do that as a family. No. I do use the library for comic book reading. Oh, okay. Uh, it's been a pretty good for that. Uh in audiobooks, I feel like audiobooks are pretty expensive and it's like nice to be able to just borrow it from the library and like use it, listen to them on my runs and stuff. I used to do that. I I now do uh I've done Audible, but I just have such a big back library and these things are like 18-hour books, 20-hour books that like I just go back through my back library cuz it's been like forever since I've done like the Reckoners and that whole series. So I'll just go back and do that. And then I'll go back and do like Game of Thrones, like, <laughs> which is like hundreds of hours of listening. So I feel like I've got plenty to keep me entertained. But yeah, yes. I feel like Game of Thrones is tease. It's not even done, you know? Like, oh, yeah. No. For sure. Not. I read the first few books and I was just like, dude, this guy's never going to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. You know, like years later. Uh, but, anyways off topic yeah i i am super excited for the x-men uh you know um i'm really curious uh i'm excited about what we saw at gen con uh and it'll be yeah. just it'll, it's not that far away like it's like a month and change i think at this point and a month and 10 days uh, yeah I, I, i'm excited to see like them you know actually being able, be able to play them uh in person and uh, online as well. Um, so maybe you tell me which two you want to play, and maybe we'll play two that Friday launch day, and like, then the other like two I'll two, put up... two five, like four handed. Well, no, no, no. I'll put I'll put up the other two on the main channel. So we'll have two videos on the main channel, probably Friday and Saturday of that week, to introduce two new ones, and then you and I will do like a first impressions together, like we did last time. Uh, I mean, I haven't played. I feel like it would be fun to just do Shadow Cat and Classes because those we are didn't in the get box. To play those. Well, they're in the box, and then they also have a team up card, right? Um, oh, that's cool. Don't tell me. And when, it, yeah, it just like it's one of the spoiled cards I've just seen from the photos. So they have a team up card. Yeah, cool. Um, all right. But Classes and Wolverine also have a team up card that was spoiled today, which is also fun. So let me ask, any um, – oh, that's cool. So Colossus has a couple of team-up cards. That's kind of neat because they haven't really done that before. I feel like they haven't done a lot with the team-up cards. So... I think they try not to overdo them, um, but – Well, because it forces you, know, you I... to play certain combos. Well, it doesn't force you because you don't have to include that card in your deck, right? Well, sure. Well, no, but to play that card, it forces you. And actually, it doesn't even really because you could do it with the ally. So that's yeah. that's a complete fabrication as well. Um, all right. Any ideas what we might play next week? Any uh, things bouncing around in your head? Uh, maybe the Nova Justice deck that you negged on me uh, okay. today. My piece might try next week. And maybe uh, we try to we'll revisit start. Hulk. Maybe not next week, but at some point coming up here, we try to revisit Hulk and see if these new cards that they put in make him any better than he was sure uh i mean i think being able to ready helps him a ton like one of his weaknesses for sure yep uh, kind of like god stamina helps out asgard a lot um do you think it's not hulk, free but hulk protection would work what's his defense three he's one he's he's like null three three so you can't even thwart with him because I, I think i just figured I zero, yeah i just Ally. I, his, his attack's so good that you don't really need to go aggression with him i think Maybe he'd be a fun protection deck to do. So maybe I'll make a Hulk protection for next week to go with your Nova I mean, Justice. I mean, counter punch is actually like not bad with him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you could build up enough like attack, because don't some of his cards, similar to She-Hulk's cards, give him plus attack until he uses it? Uh, no. Uh, okay. He has the. Uh, he has the the upgrade enraged whatever uh that gives him plus one till you flip well there you go that um, works too um so you can always you can just attack with him right and it 
uh, you get that. Uh, the other thing he has is uh, he just has he has decent number of ways to ready to. He has like the one where you can ready if you use the physical resource. Um, I think one of the tough things with protection is like it could be maybe hard to build all those physical resources that you'd want normally. Well, uh, I'm gonna to I'm gonna trigger... I'm gonna try to do it and. I'm sure you'll criticize my deck and I'll make it better throughout the course of the week. So that'll be the goal. We'll do your Nova Justice deck and my Hulk um, protection deck. I say my Hulk protection deck as if I have one, uh, which clearly I don't. But we'll do that next week. I think it'll be fun. And then, I don't know, we'll figure out a villain to go against. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions, throw them in the comments. We'd love to hear. But I think um, I'm yeah. fading fast, Terrence. I think I'm going to have to go. Okay. All right. All right. See you, everyone. Bye.